show number 400, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Jim Weller here. It's Mother's Day weekend, and you are getting ready to have the experience of your week. This is Jim Weller. You're watching and listening to a show called Weller Does Del Marva. This is a live, unscripted, unrehearsed, unprofessional show. We are on the radio, we are on YouTube, we're on TV, and you have the opportunity to relax for the next two hours and just hang in there with us and watch the show. We're sitting inside of the Laurel Junction in Laurel, Delaware. We're celebrating our 400th show. So for 400 Saturdays, we've done this show, and you are invited to come down and watch it in person if you want. There's a wonderful restaurant here called Chef Fred's. Get a cup of coffee, order breakfast, whatever you want to do, that's on you. But um, Or you could just sit in the booth and just watch the show. Um, so we're going to be here till 9 o'clock, and my first guest, my first guest is Colin Walls. Colin, how are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Good. I don't know if your mic was on or not. I didn't hear it. Your mic was it on? It was on at one time. All right, yes. no problem. This mic has right. been on before. We have lots to talk about, so talk That's to right. me. Yep, so we're going to talk about Wall Service Center, actually, Wall right now. Wall Service Center. Wall Service Center. I would have so kept my little paper out. Automotive, oh, where is it? Oh, it's deep. Deep, all right. All right, I'll we'll, try to find we'll it. We'll dig. I'll go get a it. shovel. I bet there's a shovel in one of these places. Let me move somewhere. my wad of cash. Wow. Um, hey, Wall Service Center. So uh, right here, there it is on your screen. We're going to talk about automotive air conditioning. So if you have an air conditioner in your car, which most newer cars do have air conditioning, uh, and you've had a problem with it, say the end of last year it quit working and it didn't fix itself over the winter, right. they usually don't. You were hoping it would. You were hoping it would, right. Uh, and then, uh, oh, there you go. You got it. Yeah, I, got uh, I wish I could get more of these envelopes, Jim. Okay, well, that one's Those down. are nice. So that one's That's a collector's item. It is, yes. Yes. So anyway, if you have an air conditioning problem with your car, we can take care of it at Wall Service Center, whether it's something as simple as a leak, uh, a small leak, sometimes the um, uh, O-rings, oh. and some of the little the fittings, you know, the service ports where we hook into them. Sometimes those things leak. It's a pretty simple fix. We can take care of it quickly. We can diagnose it quickly is the big thing. We're not going to spend really? a lot of your time and money trying to figure it out because we see so much of it. We know what we're doing. I need you to pause so we can take a picture now. Okay. This is for the new Lincoln Gazette. It's going to be distributed that, at the new Lincoln Dollar General. That makes a commercial General. flow so well, Jim. When the dollar... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're also going to talk about uh, having your car just service, regular service, and what you get with that. So any service you have at Wall Service Center, from an oil change on up, yeah. you're going to get this right here. For so, free. For free. This is called roadside assistance. I take comfort in this, having this in my glove box, mm -hmm. knowing I got a toll-free number to call, backed by Allstate Insurance. It, exactly. It's a great deal. It's free. And even if you don't have this, it's a pretty easy phone number to remember. What is it? 1-800-AC-DELCO. AC-DELCO. 1-800-AC-DELCO. Okay. So if I get an oil change mm -hmm. and I'm getting ready to take a trip and all of a sudden I run out of gas or I lock the keys in the car. Or you need or a, have jump a flat start tire or, flat or a jump tire. start. Exactly. I don't have to worry about nothing except dialing that phone number. 1-800-AC-DELCO, yes. Yeah, that's yep. pretty and cool. And so you're going to be covered under this. Now, there are some limits to it, so uh, you okay. want to kind of read into and see. But it's a place to start you. To yes, get you started. absolutely. And it's, it's going to be somebody you know and a reputable company. If you're in the middle of nowhere and you're thinking, well, who am I even going to call? Because I don't know anybody out here. Right. You know AC-DELCO. AC Delco is a General Motors company. Have they been in business like a hundred years or eighty? Well, years? how long has General Motors been in business? Because that's as long as AC Delco has been in business. Really? Yeah, they're well, they're a General Motors that? company over a hundred years. Wow. Yeah. And you've been in business sixty some years. Right. Yeah. But yet you're only forty some years old. Yes. Okay. The business has I mean, been in business. Oh, is that for sixty three years? Your yes. grandfather started it. My grandfather started. Pop up walls. So anyway, if uh, if you want this kind of service for your car, oh, let's real quick. Are we'll we definitely this. on Facebook? Is it working? I'm just uh, here checking. we go. So uh, we're going to do this multi-point inspection here. And Jim asked we're for it by go name. Do it now? He always says, can I have the multi-point inspection report card as recommended by my manufacturer? Yes. And I say, sure, Jim. We've got no it problem. right here. That is actually the name on it. But we're, we're checking lots of different things. We're checking your tires. We're checking your belts, your hoses. We're looking at the front end. Is there any wear? Do the tires look like they're wearing funny? Um, you know, and, and not the way they should. Do they just need to be rotated, or is there actually something worn out in it? So those are the things we're looking for. We're going to give you a copy of this when we're done, and uh, you'll see exactly where your car is. And we don't do that to sell you on anything. Nope, no It's for this. information only. And if you want to buy, 
and want to fix it, that's okay with us, but right. we're not forcing you to. They're all, all right. about having a safe vehicle. Are yes. we prepping for the radio? Back. All right, I don't hear anything. Oh, I do hear it now. We are prepping for the radio. This is a big step. A big step. A big step, everybody. For my radio audience, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, the day has arrived. Mother's Day weekend, and it's our 400th show. You say, how many times have you done this show? 400 times. Jeff, if you're listening, we're ready for your phone call, and uh, we're going to chat with a couple people at one time, all right? So what in the world is going on? What is going on? We're sitting inside Laurel Junction. We got an action-packed show. Uh, Lots of people have shown up. Uh, We're giving away some stuff. We're having fun. So anyway, that's where we're at. And you are invited to come on down. You can watch the show in person. If you stop in and say hi, just give us a wave. We'll give you a couple gift cards to Vanderwins. No purchase necessary. We're here till 9 o'clock this morning. Lots of different people are going to be on. And there's no charge to watch this show. No charge to listen. So we're on the radio, YouTube, TV, Facebook. And we're sitting right here inside the Laurel Junction. I forgot about the collage. Are you guys in the mood to roll the collage? I can't even remember. I keep forgetting it. So the voice you're going to hear on this collage, a lot of people recognize it. It's Bob Backman, Cool Bobby B from his uh, serious radio, not a TV show, it's a radio show, uh, the doo-wop show. So uh, everybody ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Here. This week on Weller Does Del Marva. We welcome Senator Brian Pettyjohn, TV Del Marva's Colin Walls, Greenwood Mennonite's Billy Johnson, Weller Utility Trailer's Rosa Gosling, Delaware Fire School's Mike Lowe, Eagle Nest Pastor Bob Weed. We are live from Laurel Junction in Laurel, Delaware. Now, here's your host, Jim Weller. Jim Weller. Good morning, everybody. And yes... All those people are going to be on, and maybe even some more. My first guest is Brian Pettyjohn. This is Senator Brian Pettyjohn. He's an extremely intelligent man. Um, I, I, I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe when I'm in his presence. It's unbelievable, in other words. But I'm going to do a sponsor segment and take a phone call after we take the picture. So we're taking a picture first. This is for the new Lincoln Post Office, everybody. Uh, this is going to be, I need to stop talking. All right, there we go. That's tough for you. All right, that's tough for me. Whew. Anyway, so listen to me. Lincoln is getting a new post office and I think a Dollar General. I'm excited about both, to be honest with you. I'm excited about both. And they're going to start rolling the sidewalks out more frequently after all that happens. But anyway, we're sitting inside Laurel Junction. This is our 400th show. We're happy to be here. People say, how did you make it that long? It's not on my looks or my talent. I made it that long because I pay for the time, and they kept taking my check 400 times. So that's how it all worked out. But we're having a good time here. We even have a cake. Linda Bosco stayed up all night and baked this unbelievable cake for us. And (laughs) it looks good. It looks good, and it looks yummy. So a lot of people here, you're welcome to come down if you want. We're with you till 9 o'clock. I'm going to do a sponsor segment, but before that, we have a special guest on the telephone Somebody that we've known for a while. His wife says he's a wonderful young man. His mom and dad are so proud of him. Who's on the phone? Are you there? Yes, sir, Jimmy. Jeff Corman. Jeff Corman is calling in. So how are you doing today, my friend? I'm good. I'm good. Congratulations on your 400th show. Well, thank you. And I need to publicly thank you and Molly for being so gracious to furnish us with a helicopter full of fuel. And um, it was really nice. And uh, we used your helicopter to go up and um, live stream the the procession of Corporal Hecook's um, body back from Baltimore to Del Mar. And it was a memorable, honorable moment. And you supplied the helicopter. And thank you for that. Okay. Well, I'm glad I could do it. Um, Glad we could bring the community together. It we was something. Right now. It was unbelievable. So thank you. So what is yep. Jeff Corman doing today? Well, I had some wheat to spray, and then okay. I got up and came over here to the airport and then saw that there was rain on the other side of the bay forming. So now I'm going to go pick up my daughter in this yellow T-28 that I got, that Go Fast airplane. Yes. And we're going to go to the Delaware Aviation Museum Pancake Breakfast in Georgetown. Really? So you're going to fly from Greenwood to Georgetown. Yep. 
Okay, that's yeah, what I... Just, just to go eat pancakes. Well, I hope they're worth the ride. <laughs> yeah, well, if not, I get to go flying anyway. All right, you love it, and your daughter seems to love it. She does, she does. And this plane, you call it fun flying, is that right? Yes, it's fun flying. And um, can I mention the picture you text me last night, or should I not? Sure, sure. It, it appeared to me, like you're trying to entice me to go with you, but it appeared to me that you were upside down. I was. I was. Really? Airplane's fully aerobatic. Now, how do you do that and not fall out of the seat? <laughs> you just keep, uh, keep positive uh, Gs all the way across all maneuvers, so... I mean, you don't you, feel like you're upside down. You really know what you're doing is what you're saying. Yeah. No, I fake it most of the time. Oh. Do you ever get nervous? <laughs> uh, not too much. Not okay. Anymore. All right. Not anymore. But uh, this is a 1955 North American P-28. has the same performance as a P-51 Mustang. Mm -hmm. uh, down low, below 10,000 feet. 1,400 horsepower engine on it. And uh, it's a joy to fly. Wow. There's about three, oh, there's probably 300 of them left in the, in the world. Really? Yeah. And when we were in the helicopter, we seen this plane fly by us. Was that you? That was me, and I was in this, yes. Okay. Yeah. I, did, I did post a picture last night of that. Okay. So okay. I just got around to these pictures. I got hundreds of them sent to me that I need to post. So I did do a good post last night, but it was late, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. But there's one of you beside us in the helicopter. Yep. Yep. <sighs> or, or near Laurel. Okay. But I uh, appreciate what you do, Jimmy. I, I'm well, glad we could participate in that last weekend and help bring the community together. I wish it was under a lot better circumstances. I agree. Now, I have a question. There's a rumor out there. Yes, sir. Are you purchasing a Black Hawk helicopter? <laughs> no, that, that's a false rumor. A oh, false rumor. I just, I, I, I'm, it was. Scott Hamilton wants me to purchase the black. That's what it might be. I might have misunderstood what he was saying. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you introducing me to him. He did a good job. Him and his son. Yeah. So. Local Milton guy. That's what he said. Very now, but grew up in Milton. Yep. Him and I have been friends for thirty years, I think. Wow. And you've known each other for fifty. Yep. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, thank you for your friendship, and thank you for what you did for our community. It was it was awesome, okay? Well, thank you. All Good right. You. Congratulations yep. on your 400th show. All right. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Brian, do you know him? Yes, I do. You know him? Yeah, Because yeah. you're a little bit into flying now, right? I, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a picture of you in an airplane. <clears throat> in an airplane, in a biplane. Right. Last year. Yeah. Now, were you in the front of the plane or the back of the I plane? I was in the front. In the front, okay. Yeah. Who was flying? The guy in the back. The I, in I was back. doing a little flying up front. There's a little stick there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. The whole, you know, stick and rudder. Throw wow. The whole bit. When so. I was in the helicopter, they got these pedals on the floor. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking it'd be just my luck. I go to slam the brake on. <laughs> 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 it's not the brake. It's not the brake. Mm. <laughs> Here's what brake. I learned in that helicopter. Is when they say bird or birds, grab a hold of something. Uh -huh. Because yeah. they're going to do something real mm -hmm. quick. Yeah. And then what was that other thing called? Dirty air? Yeah. Um, I guess we were had some dirty air, mm -hmm. and they did this big nosedive to get out of it. Otherwise, the helicopter starts spinning around. Right. I don't even know what I would have done. <laughs> I mean, it was all I could do to not have a heart attack. That, that's, that what, that's what your practice <laughs> and your lessons and your training and all that stuff prepares you, you for. You should have seen the course that me and Colin went through. Before we even flew, mm -hmm. he explained if we crash this way, mm -hmm. do this. If we do this, do that. If there's fire, do this. If we're in water, do that. I was impressed. Yeah. I mean, he it, was covering it all. It's all about safety. It's, right. It's all about safety. He man. never said nothing about hold your cell phone high. or no. it, it was, the, There's no flight attendants there to tell you what to do. There's not. And, and don't run to the back of the helicopter no matter what. No. No, okay. Because there's a little thing on there that'll correct kind of grate you up if you do. Right. Yeah. It'll it'll rearrange yeah. your hair. It, it'll it'll really ruin your day. Right. Yep. All right. So Senator Patty John, you're here on official business. 
today's a big day, or are you cutting grass, you relaxing? Like, what's the senator of Delaware do on a beautiful Saturday? Well, on a beautiful Saturday, woke up this morning, went down and checked the kitchen. I don't know if you saw my wife's Facebook post or not, but uh, we had a water leak in our kitchen. Oh, I missed this. Yes, water leak in the kitchen uh, happened Thursday morning. Above the counters or below the counters? Uh, it was actually the supply line from the wall to the refrigerator. Ooh, uh, the, so the ice supply. maker. Yeah, it, it burst. Really? Yeah, and it was about an hour before I knew it because I was upstairs wow. on a call. So Zoom came, call. Zoom call, yeah. Okay. Uh, so when I came down, I heard a noise, kind of sounded like water. I was like, is, is, the, is, is it the raining? Dish, no, is the dishwasher running or the sink running or something? No, it walked down and, you know, there was, really? there was water, water all over the floor. So we have laminate wow. floors in our kitchen. So all that had to be taken up oh. and the island had to be taken up. Some of the cabinets have been removed. Wow. It's it's a mess. It's a mess down there right um, now. I know you know what to do, but I would get a dehumidifier. Oh, we, we've, we've got somebody just, in there. It's okay. Insurance. Oh, you called somebody. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's that's what your homeowner's insurance is Okay. For. So you kind of yeah. just stood back and dialed the phone. I, I got the water up. Okay. Um, probably about 10 towels, a few blankets. Wow. Soaking up as much as I could. But once Aren't I realized. you you weren't on a trip? Yeah. Or, or I was... You know, in, it was a session day, and it was in Dover. Right. All day. Yeah. Wow. Yep. yep. Were so. any animals harmed in this? No animals were no harmed. Animals no animals were harmed. No. Okay. No. So, so how, you know, that, how's your wife taking all this? Not well. Because this is like an intrusion. Yes. She loves her kitchen. Right. That's one of the reasons why we bought the house is because the kitchen. Okay. She, she, absolutely, she fell in love with the kitchen the first time she saw it. Wow. So she's not taking it well. Um, right. Little, little, little bit of an issue yesterday. Okay. Um, you know, when she called the insurance adjuster and, and uh, oh. you know, was, was, not, was not happy. Uh, but you know, okay. there, there's a plan. There's a plan to move forward. You know, they right. you know, they were out there. They've got everything removed off the floor and the dryers and three or four dehumidifiers that are running okay. in there right now, okay. getting that taken care of. Um, but you know, it's going to be a couple of weeks until the kitchen is back. It's a process. Yeah, I would encourage her when somebody orders a shed and it takes a lot longer than they want to come in. I always say. Just remember, you're going to own it a lot longer than you waited for it That's to right. come in. That's right. You know, and sometimes it's hard. like I ordered a new vehicle a while mm -hmm. back and just got it. Just, mm -hmm. And I, I was like, man, I'm so frustrated. Where's my vehicle? Yeah. But once you get it, you're like, okay, okay, yep. you know. Because yep. it's about the journey. It's about the process, you know. So it, it, it's about the time to make it right. You know, you, you expect quality to craftsmanship and, and look, whether it's your shed or, or your vehicle, I think we are used to right now. I, I call it the microwave generation yeah. where everybody yeah. is, you know, thinks it's going to happen really quick. Right. Uh, in a matter of minutes, they can do right. something or you look at TV and they, you know, they from, do that. From, the, yeah. from the time a, a crime is committed to somebody's convicted is an hour. Right. Well, Real life doesn't happen Go that, that way. way. You know, I furniture agree. right now, you know, getting ordering furniture oh, yeah. is nine months. Yep. You know, there's a backlog, and then you want it built the right way. You can either mm -hmm. have it quick, you mm -hmm. can have it done right, but you can't have both. Right. Do you want it now, or do you want it right? Right. Or do you want it right now? Now, right now, usually <laughs> is not an option. I agree. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, but, cru um, cruises are cheap <clears throat> right now. I We've not priced one out. It's okay. been, it's been, uh, um, I mean, if you wanted to go away a for while. a month or something. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a while right. since we've been on a cruise, but uh, later on today I'm actually going to be up in Dover. There's a Second oh, Amendment rally. Oh, that's right. What time's uh, up the on the rally? green? It's at one o'clock. One o'clock. Everybody's yes. welcome. Yes, everybody's welcome. Uh, okay. They've asked me to speak there, so I'll be speaking there on the on the green in Dover. Okay. What's it about? Is it? It's Second Amendment. To, okay. Uh, it's it is um, you know people coming together and saying that they do not approve of some of these bills that are being put before the General Assembly. Okay. Uh, and, and they're getting together as a group to 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 voice their concerns and to, to make sure that uh, the people that are considering these bills uh, uh, hear what they have to say. And look at the whole picture. Mm -hmm. In other yeah. words, sometimes a person that doesn't own guns or has never handled guns would, would make a rule or vote on something differently. Mm -hmm. But if they become a little more educated about the use of guns and safe gun use, and so they might look at it differently then. They, they, they might. And as, as lawmakers, it's one of our responsibilities to make sure that when we make a decision on an issue, when we make that vote, that we, we have both sides of the issue. We Correct. know the arguments for and against. Right. And, and, and use the judgment you know, use the com uh, communication that we have our, with our constituents mm -hmm. and, and make that decision and make that vote after that. Well, we're planning on you okay. making a good decision. Is that now, okay? I've, I've, those, those two bills have already gone through the Senate. Okay. Um, 
our entire caucus plus Senator Ennis from the Democrat caucus voted no on those. Okay. Uh, but it did pass, and it's over in the House now. So we'll have to go from there, huh? Yep. yep. All right. Mother's Day is tomorrow. Mother's Day is tomorrow, yes. And, he, uh, and, and, and because of one of your guests okay. that you had here, we're actually going, we've, uh, I'm taking my mother-in-law, my mother, and my wife out to a lunch. Really? At that Plantation Ridge when you had Allison Fink over oh, here. Oh, yep. okay. Yep. Well, take your bathing suit. There's a I pool. I know they've got a pool there. It There's was Dr. Lasher's old house. It was a, it's a beautiful house. I don't know yeah. where it is, but I'm going to get there one of these days and yeah. check it out. Yeah. yeah. You should have taken so, the wife over there tomorrow I for, for, for lunch. No, nah, everybody comes to our house Okay. for every event. So it you're, seems you're, like. you're, that, you're that way now, where everybody yeah. comes to you. It's always been. <laughs> yeah, I'm that way. Yeah. It's all about me. It's, it's, everybody comes to me. But anyway, um, well, anyway, yeah, Mother's Day is tomorrow, yep. and, and I hope it's going to be a good day. And so. Hey, Jim, congratulations yes. on the 400th show. Can you believe okay. that this thing has lasted this long? It, you know, I can. Okay. I can. Well, I mean, I'm amazed. Really, really, I mean, people enjoy watching you. I think I mean, they if, do. If there wasn't a demand for your show, you know, it, it would have been short-lived. That's but, true. You know, That's people true. enjoy hearing what's going on. People enjoy the guests that you have. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, look, who doesn't want to listen to Jim Weller for, you know, a couple hours on a, on a Or week? at least five minutes. <laughs> at least five minutes as they're flipping through. <laughs> okay. I had him watching Sunday. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. No I've doubt. never had 1,300 people viewing it one time. <laughs> that was pretty good. I was like, I can't have a heart attack now. No. <laughs> too much going on. So, but anyway, it was all good. I, ha I had a good day Sunday. I've, yeah. I've been sick all week. I feel like I got stressed out and got <clears> a little cold or hay fever or something. But anyway, um, anything else you want to talk about? Like, I don't want to hijack your segment. No, hey, he, you okay. know, I'm, I'm a guest on your show. Okay. I'm a guest on your show. So. All right. Uh, well, is you know, there any other questions? Uh, does Frank well, have any questions for this? No, I'm just kidding. You. I'm just kidding. You. <laughs> now um, he, he didn't. He didn't respond, so he's he's good right now. All right. No, but we actually no, go nothing. back. We, we want to know: Did you enjoy breakfast? Okay. All right. We uh, we go back into legislative session uh, uh, on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, we've been. On you mean a, like in person? In person, the entire really? Senate. The entire Senate is going to be on the floor. They have uh, staggered the desks, so oh, really? it's you know there's separation. So it's not, you know, everybody's jumped. Oh, so you mean together. in the Senate chambers? In the Senate chambers. Where chamber. I got kicked out of, that place. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. We're going to be back there. Uh, the House, they don't, they've got twice as many members in the same size room. So <laughs> I think half their members are going to be on the floor. The other half are going to be in their offices. Okay. Uh, through Zoom. Well, they're making an effort. Yes. Um, and soon but, the, but the public is still not allowed in there, and, and that's oh. still the concern that I have. Press right. is going to be up in the gallery. Okay. Uh, upstairs. Um, but, um, you know, and, and, my, and my concern still is that the public does right. not have that direct access into Legislative Hall. Because technically, don't you guys represent the public? Well, we do. The people. I mean, technically, I mean. And, you know, tech, if, if, you, if you really want to dig into it. there for yes. us? Yeah, we are. we are. All right. It's not a closed group. It's it, not it a, is not a closed group. All right. And, and everything has to be done and open. And, you know, while some of the Zoom has been good because there are people that otherwise wouldn't be able to participate in the process. Business owners who are, are working, right. if they wanted to offer testimony, they would have to you know, leave their business, right. come up to Dover, offer their testimony, come back. They can do that through Zoom now okay. for committee hearings. I don't have a problem with Zoom, but I think it should be in addition to right. in person, not right. in lieu of in right. person. And I that's the big difference. If I were you, I would go to Lowe's and see what it would cost to rent the garden center. The garden center. And have, a, I, have I your meetings there because Lowe's, Home Depot... Walmart. They've got they, tons of people in there. They got tons of people in I know, there. In other I words, know. you know, so whatever permit they got to mm -hmm. do things, mm -hmm. legislators should get that kind of permit. You, you know, know? And, and we have been talking. Our caucus was talking about having um, having session there at Dell State, okay, uh, or Dover Downs or Dell Tech. You know, right. some of those areas that have those big conference open, centers, right. big open areas where you can put a lot of people or less people with so with with distancing and right. you know have people but line still up more outside, than but, none right more than none right okay that right. should be the new button more than none more than none. so all right well um we got your breakfast covered you yeah, got I some vanderwins that. gift cards yes. were in there uh Mother's i know Day. that guy from somewhere who's that the vanderwin guy? guy yeah how is he as a well how does he act like you know like on camera he's all polished and everything yeah. he's just as to the t as I've he, ever met, he is a good, really good guy. Is he um, really? Our chief of staff is dealing with him on a bill right now where Senator Wilson Prime sponsored it. Okay. Um, Jesse 
uh, was the co-sponsor. And, and, you know, we were talking, since, I mean, I'm whip now, I'm, I'm minority whip, so right. I, I deal with the staff a whole lot more directly. And, and she was talking and she said, you know, he's really good. You know, he, he, he knows the issue. There are some representatives where if they're the, the, the house sponsor, the house prime sponsor, you've really got to do a lot of work to get them up to speed on certain okay. things. Okay. Uh, Jesse was on it. I mean, wow. 100%, you know, he, he, he knew the issue. He knew the bill. Uh, he was watching the, the committee hearing that happened at the Senate side, so he knew what type of, of questions to expect. Wow. So, I mean, he's, he, he's on the ball. He's, he's really sharp. He's very I, – I agree he's very sharp. But mm -hmm. I think when you're a farmer, you better be very sharp. Yeah. yeah. You got to drive yeah. the tractor, weld, fix the tire, everything. A, a lot of seeds. common sense. I mean, a, a lot, lot of common, common sense. sense. You know, because you can't just call somebody every time you got a problem. No, and I don't, unfortunately – got to deal with it. Common sense is not – so common anymore no it's rare it is it's rare it is. all right well we're going to leave you is that okay that is fine I, I well i'll leave you, you. i'll on. leave you because i okay. think somebody else is going to be sitting here soon yeah okay. so right. i'm going to say it like i'm going to let you go now all right is that good. okay yes. all right take care and, have and a good Jim, weekend thank you for doing what you did last week with the, oh. with a with a helicopter you were down there right at the line i was right at the line i yep. seen you you did no I did, oh, did you see the the governor was standing right next to me too for real yeah no yeah i got a picture i got a picture of it yeah. Okay, well, we, we need to yeah. see that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, gov the governor met the motorcade right there at the state line as well. Wow. So he was there that for makes me feel better. about 10 okay. minutes before uh, the procession came, okay. but we had the opportunity to talk for a little bit. Aren't you amazed we were even allowed to do it? Like, I was wondering, were we allowed to do this? You yeah, know, I don't. Absolutely. I've never been in, I don't know any other rules, but the guy that flew us, it was good. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a Wacomico County Sheriff, is that right? I think. Now, where you know? did you pick up the motorcade? Um, Bay Bridge. Bay Bridge? Yeah. Okay. Because we went over there, and it wasn't there yet, and we just, then all of a sudden, there was mm -hmm. no traffic on that mm -hmm. side of the bridge. Yep. And I'm like, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming, you know, down. in other words. Yeah. And, um, and then we got them there, and then we had to stop for fuel. Okay. And, um, and back at Greenwood. Oh. I thought, like, you could get know fuel. If you, I didn't know if you landed over at Royal Farms or not. Well, now, now okay. I was, I said, can't we land at that airport over by the Bay Bridge? He mm -hmm. said, you'd be an hour waiting for a fuel truck. Yeah. Yep. I'm like, I... It's it's if you're on a tight time schedule, it's always good to know where your fuel is and, and have that set up. Well, we had the guy waiting right at Greenwood. He texted yeah. him, and there he was. It was yeah. like going to a gas station. There, our guy ran out there with his big hose and fueled <laughs> it up. Yeah. Did he clean the windshield? too? We kept it running. So um, did it he was clean the cold. windshield? I don't know. Okay. I had to go to the restroom facility, <laughs> and then Colin left me. Colin, he said he smelled the. Uh, Would you say the fuel? The smell of the fuel. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, and it was hot because mm -hmm. I had the window shut. And, and it, and it, yeah, it can get to you. I wasn't falling out that window. <laughs> Here's what, <laughs> and I had it shut. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave you. All right, all right. Thanks a lot. Hey, I yeah, had a good you. time. Good. So, all right. <coughs> thank you. All right. I'm not sick. I get hay fever. It's hay fever, is what it is. You know. So anyway, thanks a lot, everybody, for watching the show. And uh, we're gonna end early today. No, we're not. We're going to brag on one of our sponsors. This is a guy that's been with me for years, Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care. Thank you, Jerry, for your support of Weller Does Del Marva. If you need landscaping done, if you've got a tree you need trimmed up or cut down, a stump dug up or grind up, you need to buy some mulch, you need an irrigation system, anything you may need, Jerry is licensed, is insured, he's a good guy, he lives in Greenwood, he sells firewood, you can pick up mulch from him or have it delivered. Whatever landscaping project you got, Jerry's Lawn Care can help you out. Estimates are free. Give him a call, 302-363-6025, 363-6025, jlc-llc.com on the web. We'll be back in just a minute with more Weller Does Delmarva. We're taking a break from the radio. Switch over to Weller Does Delmarva on the Facebook right now. All right, we're still with you. We don't stop on Facebook. We don't stop on TV. We don't stop for much of anything, okay? You know what? I forgot to mention something, but I'll leave that alone. All right, what is next? I want to mention to you that we are here inside the Laurel Junction, and we are awaiting the arrival of Colin Walls. Colin Walls to the principal's office. All right, so anyway, we're going to talk to Colin, and um, we're going to talk about TV Delmarva. He did mention Walls Service Center, but we're here. We got a few people showed up. No fights have broke out. It's going pretty good. Um, Norman has got his breakfast. Um, it's pretty good. Really good. All right. What was that? You're mumbling again. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. What are you drinking is what I want to know. Birch beer. 
Okay, um, birch beer. What? Is that is that is that supposed to be better than Mountain Dew? It's, That's right. Birch, is birch a beer is a vegetable. Yes, lots of yes. fiber in those birch trees. Go ahead, Colin. All right. Uh, Wall Service Center. So Wall Service Center, downtown Milford, 220 Northeast Front Street. Now, we've been there in that location for 53 years. We've been in business for 63. That's right. Okay. That location, okay. 53 years. So that's our new location. Okay. 53 years ago. Wow. Yeah. It was just 53 years ago we opened up. Right. Uh, and it was. Kind of cool. Yeah, at that location. At 63 that location, years ago. We... 63 years of serving the community. Yeah, so we are an AC Delco preferred, a professional service center. They've mm-hmm. changed it. It used to be preferred. Now it's called professional service it's center. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. You know, And it took a while to actually get it done and yeah, uh, become an AC Delco dealer. But we have been for several years now. And we've been very happy with their products. And I always knew that AC Delco was good quality parts. But... When we switched over to AC Delco stuff from what we were using, and what we were using wasn't bad stuff. Correct. Yeah. But the the quality of this is just, right. I mean, unbelievably higher. You actually have kind of made <clears throat> me believe that you didn't know there was that much of a difference. Could, well, I didn't. Could be that, because you always picked a grade above average as far as the parts uh, that you've used yeah. all your life. Yep. And now you get signed up with AC Delco, and you're like, man, they just fit better, and just everything about I mean, them is yeah, better. I mean, yeah, there's some things that... That, you know, was a, always a little bit of a fight, you know, in the aftermarket world to get things to fit. We've switched over to AC Delco, and, I mean, it's just like, well, it's an OE company. I mean, they're, right. they're original equipment for General Motors. They make other aftermarket uh, parts for, you know, lots of other cars. So we can well, find like a lot of, of parts do you use? Do you use their uh, oil filters? Uh, yes, AC Delco oil filters. And we like, use uh, some AC Delco oil. They don't, they don't have a lot. They mostly their okay. oils for GM cars. So okay. if you have a GM car that calls for Dexos oil, you're getting the real Dexos stuff, the okay. original equipment oil. So in your GM vehicles, that's what you're getting. You're getting exactly what the manufacturer wants. And I don't mean really? just somebody you know has made it to the specs of it. This is the real, the genuine the real stuff. stuff. Yeah. And Wall Service Center, it's not just, I mean, you are a small, locally owned and mm-hmm. operated yep. autumn, but you try to do the best you can do for your customers because your grandfather started it, yeah. your father took it over, you've took it over, your your next son is, you know. Well, it, I mean, it means something to us, you know. That's what uh, I'm saying. It's not just an oil change to you. Uh, right, yeah. So and when we do an oil change, job. so we always had this uh, system and, you know, it was taught to me by my dad, and his dad taught him. But we never had anything written down. It was just kind of always in our head, you know, we would check this and this right. and this and this. And, you know, that was good. But we would occasionally forget something. Right. So I said, let's instead, because we had an Amco Transmissions, the one in Seaford. My uncle has it now. And they had systems for everything, and I just remember how well they worked. So they had something similar to this right here okay. where you would go through line by line, and you would figure out you know check each item and that's what we do with this at wall service center we kind of came up with one and it works really well so in my next segment i'll talk a little bit more about what we check on that and uh you know how we can serve you from if you have one car you know a beater or all a the way up to if you have a whole fleet of vehicles right. so yeah okay all right thank you Colin. thank you jim you know we mm-hmm. took one phone call from jeff corman but i'm going to open up the phone lines real quick if there's anybody out there that wants to say good morning to me um, we'll love to talk to you. It was nice to have Jeff on the phone. So it's 422-7336. Real quick, um, if you would like to say hello, we'd like to say hello back to you. It is our 400th show. Believe it or not, we've done this show 400 times. I can't even imagine it. It um, started just 400 shows ago. So uh, we have a lot of fun. Colin played a big role in making sure everything works. Um, could not have done it without him. Now his sons are involved, and uh, it's been interesting. And Brooks... Ritter. We should have had Brooks down here today because Brooks was part of the show from the very beginning. So um, I forgot all about him. So Brooks Ritter was a, was a key, a key to making everything happen. No question, you know. And there's other people that helped us along the way, and uh, we say thank you to all of them. But the show has had some good good cust- or good people on. Had some good interviews. We've had a lot of. Um, you know, people buy advertising on the show, and uh, they've all got benefits from it. You know, uh, each and every one of these advertisers has been with me for years, for years. But let me tell you the breakfast special here today. It's the Paul Bunyan breakfast, okay? Two eggs topped with sausage gravy over um, over biscuit and sausage patties. Holy mackerel. And hash browns, $6.25. Or two-piece French toast 
with breakfast meat, $4.99. Great food, okay? This is good food fast, not fast food. Um, this is Chef Fred's. It is a restaurant literally inside of Laurel Junction. You can eat here breakfast, lunch, dinner, seven days a week. You can get it to go. You can order online, um, whatever you want to do. So you just come right on into Laurel Junction, and you will see it, and it's a great place to get a bite to eat. You won't be disappointed. Now, I wanted to also tell you, Mother's Day is tomorrow. That's a fact. It's even on the calendar. It's on the calendar. So, oh, I'm getting ready to prep for the radio. So, folks, we're going to go back on the radio in just a second, and then it all just takes off like crazy then. All right, so I hear the music. We are coming back on the radio. So good morning, good morning, good morning to everybody. And uh, we are here. We are live. It's called Weller Does Del Marva. How many times have we done the show? 400. I can't believe it. I had a full head of hair when this thing started, and uh, I left it home today. But anyway, I'm just letting you know we are here. So our next guest is a young lady named Rosa. A Rosa is going to be joining us. I'm going to do a sponsor segment real quick for our chiropractor, okay? We have a chiropractor. Oh, it's picture time. Here we go. It's picture time. It's like our school picture. We have to look pretty or at least look normal. My chiropractor, who is he? All right, first of all, it's a sponsor segment. This is Dr. T. Dr. Trillia, he owns Peninsula Chiropractic Center, okay? And he's owned it a long time. I'm not saying he's an old man. I'm just saying he's owned it a long time. He's very good at what he does. And he has another chiropractor in there named Dr. Bud. And between those two guys, they'll get the kinks out. So whether you got a knot in your neck, whether you've hurt your arm or your shoulder or your wrist, all kinds of things. I've dealt with them for all kinds of stuff. I love going there. It's like a wellness center. So anyway, if you need chiropractic care, if you're not even sure if chiropractic will help you with whatever you've got or whatever ails you, I want to let you know they will work with you any way they can. They're good people. It's Peninsula Chiropractic Center, PeninsulaChiroCenter.com on the web. Like them on Facebook. They're very active there. They accept most insurances. Give them a call. Phone number 629 4344. Dial it in that order. Don't forget the 302. 302 629 4344. And say, hey, Jim said, and uh, check them out. See what they can do for you. They'll help you out. I've been very happy with them. Chef Fred's Cafe. I got the menu here. And um, you can scan it and order online. It is a full blown menu. What do they have? They have salad, sandwiches, homemade soups, uh, cold subs, hot subs. And pizza. Buy the pizza or buy the slice. So check out Chef Fred's Cafe sometime soon. You won't be disappointed. Now, here she is. This is Rosa. She likes to be called Rosa. Okay? So this is Rosa. She has come to work at Weller's a little while ago. And she started out just kind of helping us out in the showroom and uh, keeping the place in good order and stocking the shelves and keeping it clean and answering the phone and making sure we don't forget things. And now... She's moved into sales. And not only has she moved into sales, she's been a phenomenal salesperson. Okay? I can't call her a salesman. I have to call her a salesperson. So anyway, Rosa, good morning. Good morning, Jim. How are you? I'm a little nervous, but it's okay. Well, try not to be nervous because there's nothing happening here that we can't rewind and redo. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Once it's out there, we can always back it back in. All right? Gotcha. All right. Well, before and, we start, I, okay. I want to say something to you. Okay, go I've ahead. I've got a gift for you. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Um, it's for the appreciation for what you do. Okay. For what you did for Mr. He Cook. Oh, okay. For that, for being okay. a great boss. Okay. Always telling us how much you appreciate us. Okay. We just we just love you, so well, thank I, you. I got you a gift. Okay. I didn't know there was going to be gifts. Uh-oh. They're heavy. They are heavy. Are these sporting clays? They are. No kidding. There's three How boxes. did you know I needed these? Well, a little birdie at work whispered in my ear, <clears throat> Jimmy, um, told me. Because he's that used all you, of mine. <laughs> that you, <laughs> you like to shoot pigeons. I do. So yesterday, I literally asked him, I was like, um... When you said pigeons, you did mean clays, right? <laughs> he was like, yeah, my family's not into killing animals. So I got let me, three Let me turn them around. They're, they're pocket size. Here we go. Ugh. I'm going to need Dr. T after this. All right. Thank you, Rosa, very much. Absolutely. Um, this is great. Let me set it down. So I don't want to 
don't want them to break. They break easy. They do break easy. They do break easy. And they're very heavy. I was surprised when I lifted it up. No, there's a lot of them in there. Well, there's two more boxes for you. You're kidding me. So there's three boxes all together. Has no. Jimmy used all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Everybody that knows me, you probably know. I don't like to just have one of anything. That's so, right. So I got well, you extra. This is a wonderful gift. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I don't have any gifts for you. No, Here, I'll fine. give you one of these. <laughs> but I don't I'll mean. Have a mint. Okay, okay good, there good. you go. All right. So anyway, you're on the show live. Now, normally you do it. You're at the store, in other words. And uh, that day you climbed the swing set was amazing. <laughs> all right. A lot of did energy you, in the morning. Did yes. you get uh, any feedback from that? Um, Actually, I haven't heard anybody talk about that except for you. You've mentioned oh it quite, gosh. A, time, quite we were, a few times about it. I thought you were going to say something like, here's how the rock wall works. <laughs> Instead, she grabbed that rope and climbed right up there. I was thinking, I don't even know if I could do that. So, and, then, and then the Easter egg thing, that was... That, that was, was real good. That yeah, was good. So, the chicken did you just sell like 19 trailers in one week? I did. Congratulations. Week. Thank you. I mean... I was curious, did I get like... Is that like top? Like um, That was pretty good. Top um, it was top sales for you. Yes. I think Jimmy awesome. has sold 23 in one week. Okay, well, I got to catch okay. him then. Oh, yeah, well, watch out, Jimmy. I'm coming back today. If you catch him, I was tickled to death with the 19. In I other was excited words, myself. Yeah. I would say, I mean, because I remember when you started in sales, I would say you might have been a little nervous or apprehensive. I, I was a little bit. I'd never done that before. So. But, you know, sales is all about something that you're good at. And that's talking. Well, being friendly. <laughs> and friendly, yes. Okay? In other words, your personality arrives before you speak. In other words, you need to know that. All in this other wild words, hair. That's, just, here right, it is. that's why I'm I can't here. sell anymore. <laughs> I've lost my wild hair. <laughs> I'm just hanging on to what I got left, you know. So, anyway, so I appreciate you selling. Now, um, we're it. getting trailers in. Uh, people are coming from a, quite a distance oh now. Oh, my goodness. we have Like, how far is somebody driving? Pennsylvania, New Jersey. I had a gentleman from Baltimore yesterday. Really? What, you've what made it possible. You've made it possible for people to get trailers because it's well, really just not available out there right now. And, and, you know, a lot of people talk about, you know, during strange times, some people flounder, some people prosper, some people give up. You pulled we, through. We, well, it's not me. It's the it's whole we. team, and that's why it's I was here today. I wanted to talk about hashtag Team Wellers because okay. that's what it takes. And you've got an amazing crew there that I work with. I do. With. Um, you know. George, the the manager back there in the back. Oh, he, he's amazing. Every time I go back to him, if I have a problem with my customer, like I don't know the answer right. you know, for a certain thing. Jumps and right his in. workmanship is he, so uh, attention to detail. Just great. Like, yep. you go back there and he's working on something. He's just right into it. Yep. Knows what he's doing. Then we hired a, a second George, didn't we? We did. We, we call him Geo. Geo. Yes. Geo. Geo. For Geo a, fencing. Geo just picked it right up. He's just going right along. And every time you say, you know, got a prep on the trailer or a prep on the printer right. going back, and he's just like, copy. And oh, we really? all crack up because copy. he's got this southern accent that's okay. just, it's great. And um, and then we've got Steve out Steve there. Steve has came back after yep. that poor soul, after everything. Fell out of a tree. Fell out of the his tree. His broke, broke his pelvis, had a stroke. Had I mean, heart everything, problems. heart problems. And, and he's, he's like a walk-in miracle. He's back working with us. So yep. this is dedication to this company. Yep. And uh, the girls in the so, back, Sharon and Casey, man, yep. they, they kick out these deals as fast as we're bringing them back yep. there. They're getting them out. And it's all led by what Chuck about that and Chuck Mike. guy? Yeah, all led by Chuck and Mike. Man, they they just do great. They're fantastic yeah. leaders. Isn't it amazing though? I feel like God has assembled all these people together on Route 13 in Bridgeville, and then we have trailers come from all over the United States we that do. arrive we at do. Bridgeville. Then we have customers come from many different states. What an amazing thing that all this just came together. I remember when I started in the trailer business. My family thought I was crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, uh, you weren't. Nobody's you... ever seen this many trailers anywhere in I the United States. I brag about you a you lot know? when I'm selling to people that are out of state because they'll come in and they're like, we can't find a trailer. And I'm like, well, our boss was very smart enough to think about this no. COVID thing. And you and Kim just keep ordering the trailers. You keep it coming in. I think it was a gifting. So, I mean, I've always been fortunate. I think even as a teenager, God has gifted me yeah. with foresight. Been very blessed. But the bigger thing you have to have is the gumption to go after it. Yep. You know, anybody could have done what I did. They just didn't have the gumption to do what I did. Well, but, I'm just very excited and privileged. Well, I to think be you've benefited from Wellers. it. Oh, I'm, I'm benefiting, yes. And I benefited. So, yes, um, we both. Like, both it has winning. been like we've win -win. never seen. It's a win win. <laughs> what did we sell last week? 52 trailers? I think it was something like What'd that. What did you sell yesterday? 12? Um, it was the last count I had was 11, but I think there was one more that I haven't gotten more yeah. off my list. Yeah. 
There was at least 12. I know four oh. of them were mine yesterday. Just yesterday. Really? Mm -hmm. You're a go-getter. I've got nine right now on the board. Do you really? Yes. Wow. I'm excited. And two Today's sheds. Today's and two sheds. two sheds. And the sheds are coming rather quickly, I understand. We're In getting other words, them a little bit better. It's been, mm -hmm. a, it's been a little delay on getting the sheds. We have well, to they've quit, quit building stock. So we don't have anything in stock for sale. Yes, actually, we do right now. We have um, three or four that are, are on the list right for now. For sale. Mm -hmm. You yep, won't have them. down there. They'll We're be gone by no, noon today. They're going to be gone by today. Hopefully, I'm going to get well, down there and sell them before everybody else Okay. Does. So how's this been so far? I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. Yeah. Did Bill drive you down? Yes, he's standing there with me. Okay. Is he making you nervous? <laughs> no, he's just standing there grinning. <laughs> grinning or grinding? Grinning. Oh, I know he's grinning He's his waiting teeth. for the breakfast. He's going to oh, eat okay. it. I'm too nervous to eat it. So. Are you really? Yeah. It's good here. I know I hear. I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm amazed. We're all amazed. I, mean, I was up just... at 4 o'clock having oatmeal, though, so. Okay. <laughs> what were we up at 4 o'clock for? I couldn't sleep because <laughs> <laughs> coming here today. All right. Well, are you, you're better now? I'm good. Okay, because we're going to want you to be on every week from this point on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, in other words, I'm just kidding I got the one you. week. That's, you that's got the me. one week. All right. Well, we're going to let you go. Is that okay? And yep, um, absolutely. You want to give out any phone numbers? You got your business cards in. I got my business cards You put cards your in, cell yes. phone number on it. I did. And I, I have a couple, of you. I have a couple customers that have called me already on it. So, really? Yeah. It well, was you ringing wanna... yesterday while I was at work. Okay. You so, want to give your number out or what do you want to do? Um, I can give the shop number there. All right, we'll it's 302 337 8228. Just All right. give us a call, ask us any questions you want. Come okay. in. We'll show you trailers, show you sheds, swing sets, right. whatever you want to look at. If you're not eating breakfast, help yourself to a piece of that cake. Okay. That young lady <laughs> stayed up and sweated over her stove all night long to bake that cake. <laughs> awesome. I, I think she did. Anyway. It looks good. It looks it, really oh, good. Oh, it's unreal. It's unreal. Great. All right. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Have Thank a good you. weekend. Thanks that. for the gift. Absolutely. You're welcome. And um, Thank I'll you see you for sometime. Being okay. Appreciate it. I'm trying. Thank you. There she goes, everybody. Rosa. If you want to meet her, stop into Wellers in Bridgeville. She'll be there probably next within the hour. All right, so, and that's an example of uh, the kind of people we, we try to employ at Wellers. We've got a wonderful team. Is Billy Johnson here today? Uh, Billy, if you're here, we're kind of ready for you. I don't know where he is. Okay, so um, we'll get him on in just a minute. But anyway, I'm going to talk about my accountant real quick. Um, my accountant is, who is my accountant? My accountant is George Luff. This is a sponsor segment. Luff & Associates in Milford, Dover, and Rehoboth. Just want to let you know, if you need an accountant, if you need help with uh, your taxes, or you need some advice or input or whatever you may need, Luff & Associates can help you out, okay? Their website is called LuffCPAs.com. Their phone number is 302-422-9699, 422 9699 LuffCPAs.com. Like them on the web like them on the web you don't like websites you just look them up on the web you don't like them okay so anyway look them up oh billy we got to get a picture taken i keep forgetting to be quiet tracy does a great job with that but anyway george luff is my accountant i'm very happy with him if you need a good accountant whether it's for personal whether it's for business whatever you may need another thing they do is they have this easy payroll system where they will help people do their payroll. They do our Weller's payroll. I know a few companies that have heard about them here on the show and got up with them to do their payroll. You don't even have to use them for your accounting. If you want them to help the payroll, they'll just help with that. So it's Luff & Associates, again, three locations, Milford, Dover, and Rehoboth, George Luff, his son Tyler. There's a whole team of people. I'm extremely happy with them, okay? So anyway, check them out at 422. That's 302. 422. 9699 and um i just want to let you know um okay so anyway um just hand them over to her if you would so anyway i just want to let you know that um luff and associates is who deals with me they help me with my accounting work and i'm very happy with them so uh tracy i can't answer you but everything's fine Okay, but anyway, um, what else is next? 302-422-9699, LuffCPAs.com on the web. Um, if you ever want to rent a table here, I don't mean a table in the restaurant, but I mean a table like at Laurel Junction, I want you to give Diane a call, and um, she will help you out. Do you need something else? Okay, all right, just one second. Hand her that. Okay, all right, now we're good to go, all right? So we're going to continue on with the show. So anyway, I'm just letting you know that at Laurel Junction, if you ever want to rent a table and um, sell stuff, you can rent like four tables for one money. 
20 bucks for a day. You just call Diane. Her number is 302-841-5864. 302-841-5864. Okay? All right. What is next? What is next is Billy Johnson is next. We're going to talk about the Greenwood Mennonite School Spring Festival. Okay? And um, it's coming up. It's actually coming up, I believe, June 5th. That is June right. 5th. Is that right, Billy? Yes, sir. Yes, All sir. Right. June and the 5th. First what, Saturday in June. What role do you play? Somebody said, what role does Billy Johnson play? What is your role? So my role for the Greenwood Mennonite School Spring Festival this year is to simply market it, promote it. And okay. the day of the festival, I actually MC the event. I've been doing do that for really? years. Yes. Okay. Well, you do a yes, good sir. job. Yes, sir. You do a good job. So the festival, it's an outdoor event. It's a rain or shine event. It is Saturday, June 5th. We want everybody to come. Is that right? That is absolutely correct. And we, we had this is our 34th annual spring festival. We actually had to postpone this a whole year just to celebrate the 34th it. annual. You know. So we're excited to have this event uh, again this year and put it back on the books and let it stay on the books. You know what so I mean? Let's walk through it. First of all, there's free parking. Free parking. Okay. Every free year. sunshine I mean. if the sun's shining. <laughs> correct. Free fresh air. Yes. Okay. Bring your mask. Bring your mask. Okay. No. Can they bring an animal? <laughs> Like if a person uh, likes to walk around with their dog. Is it, sure. Is it you know what? I don't know if I've been asked that question, but why not? All right. Well, I just wonder. It's a big <laughs> Long, thing nowadays. Yeah, I would say put them on a leash, but yes. Okay. Yes, why not? All Let's right. do it. So <laughs> what are we going to see? We're going to have games for kids? Yes. Yeah, so we have our kids' booths. We have our bounce house. We have our kids' uh, the water Music slide. playing all of them. We have a group called the Vintage Blue Bluegrass Band with us this year. And so, oh, really? Yeah, it's a little something different, but they're live on the stage uh, from 9 to whenever. Okay. Whenever the event ends. But 9 to noon is when the uh, the exhibits open, the food booths open. And then at noon sharp, we have our annual Spring Festival auction. So there's a white elephant table. There's yes. uh, plants for sale. There's yes. um, an auction at noon. Auction at noon. Tons of items. Um, Tons I of heard items. there's yeah. going to be a golf cart for sale. Yeah, it's a 2010 uh, Easy Go golf cart, 36 volt. All and brand new stand. batteries. Yeah, I think it's yeah, new batteries. It's been refurbished. I think they have the new wind, uh, the new windshield. window. Yeah, windshield. Yep. windshield. Um, several other refurbished. new items, but it's been re re upped or refurbished, right. whatever you want to call it. But refreshed. Refreshed. There you right. go. Like right. that. It's going to um, be sold no matter what it brings. Correct. Two hundred dollars or ten thousand dollars. This baby's going to be sold. Yeah, we like the we like the ten thousand end of the that. ten thousand. It's yeah. a fundraiser. So, Are they going to build a shed on site that day? I don't know that. That's what we're doing this year. Okay, I, I, well, I haven't I heard know. that specific. I know All we've right. done it in the past. Um, the couple things that they asked me to point out though is this okay. year we, we typically do an all you can eat breakfast uh, due to you know some restrictions that we need to make this year. We're not having an all you can eat breakfast okay. in the school, but we are having a scrapple sandwich booth. So if you want breakfast, stop we, by. Stop so by. So even if you can't come to the festival and you're going to work, yeah, stop by stop and by. grab a bite to eat. Correct. The other thing that we're doing that's a little different this year is we're having a pre-order. So we have several booths: the chicken booth, you know, the barbecue chicken. Um, um, what else? The hot dogs, donuts. hamburgers, french fries, donuts. We have all those, but we also have a seafood booth. This year for our seafood booth, we're doing pre-order crab cakes. The day of, we're doing our regular crab cake sandwiches, but we're also doing pre-order. So up to May 22nd through May the 22nd, you can pre-order crab cakes. So Like 10 or 20 of them? Well, you, we order, we're doing half dozen and dozen. Okay. So half dozen is $40. Six. A full dozen is 75 So save really? a few dollars if you get to 12 they're going to be frozen and picked up be, be, on, by between 11 and 1 the day of. So if you're interested in crab cakes, um, you know, you, you're, I love free to, them. you're free to I order. I buy them by the dozen. It's well, so nice. I buy them by the dozen, put them in the freezer, and when Denise says, what do you want for dinner, and I'm just not sure, I remember I got a freezer full of crab cakes. Yes. That's a good day. Yes. That's a good day when you and get home and have that. All right, what else? Um, or... Are people at the moment allowed to donate any items to the auction? Yes, you certainly are free Still got to room donate. for that? Yeah, we still have room for that. Now, if you need to, you'd like to donate to the, to the auction, uh, feel free to call the school at 302-349-4131. 349-4131. You got it. Okay. And, and you'll reach the, the, the main office there. You'll likely talk with or speak with. Candace and she can direct you from there on how to get that item to the school or who you might want to contact. And let's say somebody's listening and they say, I don't know what to donate. Well, you could donate any type of a service like a lawn cutting. Yep, lawn cutting. Um, uh, window cleaning. Window cleaning. Power you washing. Them. Sure, absolutely. Okay. And we've had those items donated in the past, so that works out very well. You've had people donate an item where they'll fix a dinner for eight or ten people. Yes, and that's that's that goes pretty well, too. Yeah, it's absolutely. like steak so, yeah. and shrimp and all kinds of good stuff. Yes. All and right, we, we've bid on and won those before, so that's a very nice time. Very but there's good. been uh, trips where you can go to 
I forgot where it was. I bought a couple of the trips before at auction and so on. So um, yeah, it's been kind of neat. It's always it's always a great mix with the. It's auction. a good day. It's a fundraiser. Yes. You have you lost this fundraiser last year. This is how the school raises yeah. money to be able to keep the school going. And how is the school doing? Oh, the school's doing very well. In fact, um, attendance is up uh, over year over year. It's up, and uh, we're looking forward to a great school year coming up for the next school year. Okay. The one thing we've been able to do is keep the school open. And I going. appreciate that. And so I got... it's been something that's been pretty special for us, and the community has come out and supported that effort as well. So we thank you for that, and thank right. you, Mr. Jim Weller, for all that okay. you do for our school, I'm for trying. this community. We appreciate it. And 400—that's yeah. amazing. I, it's amazing. I love it. Thank I was you. just a kid when I started. Oh yeah. I can't oh, even yeah. believe this kept my attention that long. <laughs> right. Right. All right. Well, well if fantastic. somebody has a question, they can call the school. What was it? 302-349-4131. And also, just as a final note, if you're wanting to order those crab cakes, please call that same number, 349-4131. You have through May the 22nd. You can also visit Greenwood Mennonite School uh, on Facebook. There is a Google Doc that will pop up. It looks like this. I don't know, you can't see it, but it's a Google Doc. You can fill out, it's a crab cake fundraiser, fill out the information. There's a little comment section below, so you, you, you order the number that you like, and then in the comments below, you can put things like leave four or five separate for Jim and Billy, yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. Then you just hit the submit button, and then that order will be placed. So we appreciate it. You're allowed it. to buy us crab cakes. Exactly, we don't, we don't mind. <laughs> now, are you in the mood to eat breakfast here? Um, I am. That I'm going to give you. I'm going to. I'm going to buy your breakfast oh, as long you. as you eat it here. I just don't want oh, you yeah. to take the money and run. Oh, no, 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 no. So there I you will, go. I will okay. Eat the breakfast here. Thank couple, you, sir. I appreciate it. Couple gift cards to Vanderwins. Okay. I thank you. I'm well, going to let you go, Billy. All right. Perfect. Thanks for all you do. Yep. Thank you. You'll be back again. All right. Mid South Audio, another good sponsor of the show. Kevin, Debbie, thank you very much for your support over the years. And uh, Mid South Audio has a superstore, an electronic superstore, all kinds of audio, video, recording things. If you're Zooming, if you've got a band, if you need anything for your church or your group, listen, check out their store in Milton, Delaware, right by the post office, right across from the firewood. Anyway, it's MidSouthAudio.com, phone number 302. 856-6993. Dial it in that order. It's 856-6993. MidSouthAudio.com. Kevin, Debbie Short, thanks for your friendship and your support. Mark Johnson is there. Thank you, Mark, and team MidSouth Audio. What a great group of people. I want to brag one more time on the Vanderwin family. Vanderwin's ice cream. Everybody loves it. We give out their coupons all the time. Uh, gift cards to Vanderwin's. And we just thank you, everybody that goes there and supports Vanderwin's. And I want to say thank you to the Vanderwin family for sponsoring, supporting my show. Weller does Del Marva. And Jesse Vanderwin also happens to be my state rep. I appreciate you, Jesse, for all you do there up at Legislative Hall, making things work out and uh, go smoothly. So what's going on today? Wellers is going to be open today. No question about it. And if you need a trailer, a shed, a carport, a swing set, um, a gazebo, a chicken coop. Oh, oh, I might not sell gazebos anymore. I can't remember. Uh, it might be gazebos, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm just saying I can't remember if we still sell them. I know we sell dog kennels, chicken coops. Okay? They don't have to be Amish chickens or Amish dogs, even though the chicken coops and the dog kennels are made by the Amish. Quality workmanship. Man, you should go on my Facebook page, everybody, and watch the shed being delivered the other day. I did this video. My daughter Jenny got a shed and how they unloaded it in the road, and then he lifted it up with this little machine called, a, I think, a mule. I can't remember. And then I'm like, how are you going to get it down? And he had this hand control, and he drove that shed right down the road, right around the back of her house, right by the new pool, and turned it around and put it right where it went. I, and then he leveled it all up and blocked it up. I was amazed at his attention to detail and how good he was with that little mule, that little buggy. Okay? So anyway... Weller's Utility Trailer sells Amish-made sheds. According to Rosa, we have some for sale. We might have like 30 or 40 on the ground sometime, and every one of them sold just waiting for delivery. But if you need any of what we got, come on into where we're at, Route 13 in Bridgeville. Been in business, I can't remember now, 47 years, I think, um, since I was 16. I'm 63. I think that's right. But anyway, we're here for you. We are known for very supportive of our community um, and we thank our community for supporting us. We've had a great run of it, and it's been good. So uh, I, I don't like to be recognized much when I do things. So people know that I, I like to keep a low profile over in the fast lane. But I've been blessed 
to be able to give because I think you are blessed to give. So anyway, with that said, I hear the music. I can't believe it. Is it 8 o'clock already? Yes, it is. We'll be right back with more Weller Does Delmarva. Switch over to TV Delmarva right now. You won't miss a thing. Bye. All right, here we go. We are here. We are sitting inside, inside Laurel Junction. So anyway, lots going on, lots of crazy things going on, and uh, so on and so forth. We're having a good time today. Are we having a good time? Okay. And uh, Tracy's running around taking pictures. We have hired Linda to uh, cut cake and give cake out. It's for a strenuous position. I hope she doesn't hurt her back or pull a muscle or anything like that. Uh, did you get Hunter taken care of? Was he appreciative? Okay. Um, Hunter is a, a good guy. I don't know what he does for a living. I think he's a counselor. Um, Colin, what are you doing today? Um, let's see. I think I'm putting up a shelf later on today, like one of those Ooh. racks up in a garage. So this will be a, like a DYI segment. What's right. it called? Do I, yourself it. Yes, DYI. DYI. I'm going to call it a DIY. I, DIY. Do it yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So there's going to be a DIY, D -I, whatever it is. <laughs> it's not a DUI, anyway. No, so, I, anyway. I have no plans for those. Right. I don't, I don't think they're always planned. Sometimes they're a surprise. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, if you, if you drink while you're driving, it shouldn't be a surprise. But anyway. Surprise. All yeah. right. What's up with TV Del Marva? Uh, TV Del Marva is on the air everywhere. We're talking about Wall Service Center today, though. Okay. But, um, I've noticed that twice. Uh, yes, we're, we're making a big push for Wall Service Center. Okay. I just I wanted to go over this list. So when we do okay. an oil change, we're not just spinning your filter off. Changing your oil. Putting a new one on and change, and dropping the oil. and putting. That, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. No, it, it, I'm it, just saying we provide a little different level of service. Than and that's that. your decision. That's our it decision. It doesn't cost anymore. It, the customer's not paying anything right. extra for this. It's just something you, owning this business this long, have said, you know, if I'm going to if I'm gonna have my name attached to it, mm -hmm. I want to be sure that the person knows what kind of shape their, their vehicle's in. Well, and we're going to use good quality parts. We're going to yes. use AC Delco oil filters. Right. Uh, we're using good quality oil. oil. Um, you know, we're, if it, whatever your car calls for... That's what we're going to use in it because that's what the manufacturer has designed this engine to run, to run on. on. Right. Um, and, you know, we believe that that's what we should do. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, we've had customers request to have uh, different things, you know, okay. a different oil. And, and if that's what they want, we'll do it. You know, that's no problem. Okay. Uh, but, you know, if, if you're asking for our recommendation, that's what it's going to be is to go with the original uh, manufacturer's, manufacturer's recommendation. Exactly. So when we change oil in a car... We're looking at other things. Uh, we're, we're checking uh, your belts. We're even looking at your cabin air filter. Now, some people don't even know they have a cabin air filter, right. but you do. Right. There is a filter that filters the incoming air. I've seen them get stopped up, and uh, you know they can get stopped up with some pretty well, nasty stuff. Say you're a person that has allergies and yes, stuff. Yes, exactly. It's real important to have your cabin air filter checked. It is. It is you really know? important. Um, you know, and and those aren't always very easy to check sometimes no, right. you got to pull the glove box but it's just apart part of there. the service you exactly do. it's part of our service um we're looking at the engine air filter uh which is very important for your engine right uh the belts the you coolant oh the coolant yes yeah, so we're checking the strength of it so right it's not as important in the summertime as it is in the winter but if you're only getting your car service once a year you want to make sure that it's good yeah even if yeah, it's especially in the summertime. if it's midsummer right exactly yeah uh, so you want to check it out. We're and we're checking the levels of all the fluids as well. Uh, you know, we're going to glance at your fuel filter. Has it been changed recently? Right. Um, Air in the tires? Uh, yes, we're checking all the tires. And we're putting Even them measure to... measure the... Tre we're, we're, the air pressure, we're checking to make sure it's at the manufacturer's recommendation, too. Right. So on your door pillar, there's usually a, a sticker, sticker on there that says... what. The, and sometimes the fronts are different than the rears. Yep. So yeah. you, it's something you really have to pay attention to, and that's going to maximize the life of your tires Make it and also better. your fuel efficiency. Mm -hmm. If you're running with one slack tire, I mean, you're, you're losing fuel, and right. you're wearing that tire out prematurely. prematurely. Um, yes, we're checking the depth of the tread on the tires. So, uh, you know, if, you, if we find out, you know, there's one tire that has uh, 330 seconds on them and all the rest have 730 seconds on them, there's something going on there. Right. You know, if you haven't had, maybe you had all three tires, the other three changed, but if you haven't, there's something going on there. You know, it's been run low on air, you know, or, or whatever. Something is happening mm. with that tire or, you know, you're just riding on those, that one wheel right. for some reason. It's all good so, stuff is what I'm it saying. Is. And it's it all is. no charge. We're looking for oil leaks. We're checking the, all your lights. That's a big thing. So a lot of people don't even know. I would say probably half of the cars we get in there, 
has at least one light out on their car. Wow. Tail light, tag, tag light. light, turn signal, Marker something light. like that. Yeah, we're looking wow. at your windshield wiper. So lots of things we're checking at Wall Service Center. But so you do it every time. We do it every time, and we give you a copy of this so you see it every time. You see exactly what we've done and what right. we found on it. And we're also going to verbally let you know in the conversation. So mm -hmm. anyway, uh, Wall Service Center, give us a call, 302 422 8110 Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5, downtown Milford. Stop in, 220 Northeast Front Street, uh, and uh, you can, Wall Service Center. Yeah. Sorry about that. Keep going. Okay. You're out of time anyway. All right, wallservicecenter.com. I'm out of here then. Okay. Um, evidently, I don't know exactly what they wanted, but, um, oh, so we are going to commercial. Oh, we're, sorry, folks, I got a little off track, okay? But anyway, Tracy's got it under control. Um, but it is a live show. It is a live show. There's no question about it. And um, we're back on the radio now. So I don't know what was going on. But um, they're being taken care of, folks. They're being taken care of. And we're here for everybody. Now I know what he said. Did she get to? I know what they said. I know what it was. I had said earlier, come in and ask for gift cards to Vanderwins. I could not hear that. So anyway, um, I'm just letting you know. I have a hard time hearing with these things in my ear, so I'm trying to read people's lips is what I'm trying to do. But we're here, and we're taking care of everybody, and we say thank you very much for joining us. No matter what the reason you came in for, we're glad you're here. You guys doing all right over there? All right. All right, there we go. So anyway, um, I'm back on track. It doesn't take much for me. But anyway, L&W Insurance Agency is another good one of my sponsors of the show. So they're a show sponsor. And we appreciate L&W's support of the show. We spent a lot of people. Man, I was talking to Dan Gaffney yesterday, and I remember the first time we did the show. We did it in Milford at Walls Service Center, like behind their property, or on their property, but right out back. And um, we were able to get everything set up and, and so on and so forth. Is it picture time again? Here we go again. It seems like it was just a week ago we did this. All right, let me do the phone call, and then I'll get back on track. Caller, are you there? Good, Jim. How you doing? Good. How you doing? All right. I'm sitting here watching. I'm sitting here watching you on TV. Well, good. You having a good day? Yep. And you? I'm trying. Um, <laughs> what's going on with Terry? We're having, we're having an anniversary for your uh, 400 years, whatever it is. Yeah, 400 years is what it is. Feels like it anyway. So, what are you doing today? Anything exciting? No, man. Just sitting back watching TV and just uh, watching you. You want a couple gift cards to Vanderwins? Yeah, and I had I had to even call Greg, Greg Nichols come by and get it. What's his name, Greg Nichols? Yeah. All right, I'll set two aside, okay? If he don't come by and get it, uh, Kyle, Kyle Palmer will come by and get it. Hold it. What's that other name? Kyle Plummer. Kyle Plummer. Palmer, Palmer. Palmer. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be one of those two is going to pick up two gift cards for you. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay. Well, have a good day, all right? Oh, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, now, I'm going to get back on track. i got to get serious. i got a little bit behind. So, anyway, here's the first thing I want to do. This is a sponsor segment for l w Insurance Agency. l w Insurance Agency has been involved with the show pretty much from the get-go. So, Bill Strickland, I appreciate your support, your friendship. I appreciate everybody at l w the fantastic job they've done for me with insurance. I was at the motor vehicle the other day in line had my number, and realized I needed proof of insurance. I got on the phone. They weren't, the, the lady I needed to talk to, I left a message, detailed voicemail. I'm up to the counter now. I get a call back and says, tell them to check their fax machine. What you need is on the motor vehicle's fax machine. I'm like, how did you even have their number? She said, this is what we do for you, Jim. And we've even emailed it to you in case you need it. That is what I'm talking about, folks. Within five minutes of leaving a voicemail, I somebody listened to it, somebody dealt with it. I was tickled to death. Okay, so L and W Insurance Agency sells automobile insurance, boat insurance, camper insurance, jet ski, home, auto, life, health, whatever you may need. If you need an insurance agency that gets in your business, see everybody else. It's like call one eight hundred and you speak to somebody you can't even understand them. Not at L and W. They pride themselves. Been in business eighty some years. I meet people all the time. They have a claim. 
They can't get what they want out of the insurance company. L&W don't even want you to talk to the insurance company. They'll work on your behalf. So I love them. You know I do. You hear me talk about them every week. So if you need insurance, if you want a second opinion on your insurance, it's LNW Insurance. It's 856-7828-856-7828, LWinsurance.com on the web. Now, one more thing. Chef Fred's restaurant here is really good food. People are sitting all around the place. They're eating. They're having a good time. And um, they're enjoying their their company and their breakfast. So if you want something to eat, this is a great place to get a bite to eat, okay? It is Chef Fred's. You can eat here breakfast, lunch, dinner, seven days a week. Check it out if you would. They've got really good food. Easy Clean Power Washing. That's my friend Mike Schaefer's good sponsor of the show. He's been doing some power washing for me. I've been very happy with him. If you need your house done, a piece of machinery, your deck, your sidewalks all around the pool, maybe you need the pool done. Maybe you got a garage, you want your gutters clean, whatever you might need, Mike Schaefer's can help you out. It's called Easy Clean Power Washing. Phone number 302-381-8305, 381-8305. And on the web, it's um, Easy cleanmd.com. Mike's very active on Facebook. Sometimes he has some Facebook Facebook specials too. So look him up, Mike Schaefer's Easy Clean Power Washing on Facebook. Like their page. Now we're ready. We're ready for our next guest. His name is Mike Lowe. Going to talk about I don't know what. So Mike, <laughs> I can't even remember what we're talking about. Delaware State Fire School, maybe. So... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and start talking. Okay, good morning. Oh, my gosh. Well, Jim, as, as uh, anyone knows me is aware, I'm always ready to talk about fire safety. That's what we're here to talk about this morning. And just remind everybody that although National Fire Prevention Week is in October, it's a year-round activity. And spring is very, very important for some certain things we need to take care of in the springtime. Notably, uncluttering your house, doing yep. some spring cleaning, getting things straightened up. That's very important to fire prevention, doing that. A, another thing we have coming up is uh, Mart- May the 16th through the 23rd is Residential Home Sprinkler Week, where we make people more aware of the benefits of having a home fire sprinkler system in their home. Oh, okay. And it's, uh, the need is just growing tremendously. Statistics tell us that 25 years ago, folks had up to 20 minutes to escape a fire in their home. Today, they have less than five minutes. Less than five minutes? Less than five minutes. And the reason is primarily due to the difference in building construction. It's all gotten cheaper. Any of you live in a remodeled older home know when they were built, they were built out of real stuff. Oak timbers today, not so much. And it's very, very dangerous to the firefighters, to the residents. And we're really trying to get the word out there that home fire sprinklers are a very important part of protecting your family. Uh, Lower costs, a lot of myths out there regarding home sprinklers. That's what we battle to get the information out there and just make everybody safer. Bottom line, if you have a alarm system and home fire sprinkler, your chances of dying in a fire are reduced by 91%, the National Fire Protection Association tells us. I got some questions. You got a fire in the kitchen. Correct. Okay. So walk me through, like, do you get out of the house first? Do you call 911 first? Okay. We recommend if you have a fire in your home, priority one's get out. Okay. Is make sure that you're safe. If you think you can handle the fire and you have a fire extinguisher, then yes, there's some education regarding the use of a fire extinguisher, but still it's very effective in controlling the fire. But if you have any doubt, get outside, call 911 from outside. Some tragic events have occurred right here in Sussex County where folks placed a 911 call, they were inside the residence, and tragically, they didn't make it. So even if you think, I might have it under control, it's best to have the fire company rolling. Absolutely. I mean, that's what we're there for. And uh, if you have any doubt, 
the fire companies, that's our purpose. That's what we're right. there for, to protect. Uh, in my world, where I talk about fire safety, that's my job. However, I've been a volunteer firefighter a long time. I've been a fire officer for a long time. I'm a past chief, and we have a little saying that when the pager goes off, that means in some manner we failed because we did not get the word of prevention out there the way we mm. should. Yeah. Now, um, are you from Laurel? Absolutely. So it's the Laurel Fire Company you've been involved with? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. And um, like kids and stuff, in other words, we don't want to run back and get nothing. We just want to get out of the house. Correct. Okay. And um, what if you're trapped in a fire? Like, what do you do? If you're trapped in a fire, there is a procedure called uh, secure in place, which you create a barrier, if you can, between the fire area and where you are, okay. such as close the door. You may put some towels around at the bottom, the at the bottom uh, so smoke limit smoke coming in, and then either get to a window, make a lot of noise, or use your cell phone to let people know where you are. Okay. You know, I need to get somebody from the 911 center on here because I want to understand how you would text 911. Okay. Can you text 911? I, I don't know. I, mean, I, I honestly do not know. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to work on that. I'm however, make a note that, of that would be a tremendously good idea to have someone from emergency operations be on your show. Yeah. You've been very, very good to us getting the word out there, and that also is information the public needs to know. Right. I was just thinking about that. All right. Well, um, what else do you want to tell us? Um, fire companies needing any volunteers these days? Volunteerism is suffering. Uh through a lot of factors, increased training, but simply I feel it's uh, society itself. Everybody's vi busy. A lot of people have two jobs. They have children to take care of, school activities, church activities. They're stretched very, very thin. However, providing a volunteer hours to your community is very, very important, and the fire service needs that. It's a changing fire service that we could talk a long time about, but in a nutshell, the, where the volunteer fire department was the center of, a, of the community, it's now kind of transitioned to where it's a volunteer organization supported by career staff. Okay. And that's simply due to training, the amount of calls, and this, and Unfortunately, I think it's transitioning to where it's going to be a career staff supported by volunteers. Right, right, instead and of vice versa. just in little old Laurel, Delaware that I'm familiar with, I joined the fire department in 1980, and we ran about 175 fire alarms and about 500 ambulance calls a year. This year we'll have 2,200 EMS calls right here in our little Golly community. Day. And the average citizen out there doesn't know that we have that kind of volume. Right, that's a huge do. change. And fire calls will do probably between five and 600 this year. Wow. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to leave you. Okay. Are you in the mood to eat breakfast? Uh, sure. <laughs> well, I'm going to buy your breakfast if you'll eat it. Thank you. I just don't want you to take the money and run. That's okay. all. I'd Thank like you. you to spend it right here with Chef Fred. I will have do you ever that. ate here? I, oh, yeah, I live in the Okay, I'm just checking. Here. Heck yeah. All right. <laughs> well, there's some Vanderwoods gift cards and money for breakfast, and I thank you for your support and coming on. And Thank you. Anytime. We should, we appreciate you. Truly I'm going to get the 911 center on here. I think that's yeah. a good idea. Yep. All, All right, right, Mike, thank, thank you. you. Have a good weekend. Uh -huh. All right, it's Mother's Day weekend. Don't forget that. Linda, how's the cake going? Half going. Half going. Very good. Hey, there. So, what was that? Oh, Bob's coming over? Oh. Just from the gang, okay? Oh, really? Well, sit down here, Bob. Okay. Just a minute. I was looking for somebody to buy my lunch. You want me to read this now? Oh, for real? All right. This is a gift. Open it slowly. <laughs> Look at the... Did, did you get a good picture? Okay, because Bob don't get up here much. All right. This is a gift. Oh, my gosh. Carnival Cruise. Thinking of you. Oh, I can't read all of this now. Yeah, it really is hard, isn't it? Well, yeah, and it might be something... Um, There's nothing bad. Oh, another person. What's that? What's this say? Oh, my, oh my gosh. Dean and Gaffney signed yeah. it. What's that say? Another reason. To party. To party. Congrats. Okay, wow. Very good. Jay Jones even wrote something? Yeah, um, You don't even look 400. <laughs> Terry thought I had been on here 400 years. 
<laughs> oh, well, very nice. Thank you guys for doing this. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, and oh, oh, two gift card to Vanderwins. <laughs> How original. How original. I think that's a form of recycling going on. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. All right, so anyway, it is our 400th show. We've got cake. We've, got, we've been buying some breakfasts. We've been giving away gift cards. Um, oh, what else is going on? I can't even remember. Did we get the other people taken care of? I didn't. Okay. As long as we got them taken care of, you can tell me later. Okay. It threw me way off track. Okay. My lip reading skills did not kick in very good. All right. What else is next? Josh McNeil. McNeil's paving. I want to say, man, there's a lot of people. I was talking about the first show. Do I got time to talk about this? Colin and I, yes, Colin and Dan Gaffney set all this up in the beginning. In other words, they did a great job. It was behind Colin's store, Wall Service Center. It was great. And since then, it's been on radio. It started out like one hour. Then it went to two hours, somewhere in there. I believe it was Colin's idea to get up with Bob Backman go on TV. I don't remember. Bob Backman was like, yes, we will tolerate you on WRDE TV. I mean, he did it. Now we're on TV Delmarva. Colin's got his own TV station. It's been fun to watch that evolve. Uh, Colin's sons are working with us. Brooks used to work with us. We've got Tracy. It's been great. Jackie, you're not here, but Jackie does a lot of behind the scenes, talking to the guests, lining them up, reminding them they didn't return her phone call. And so and I have to talk her off the ledge all the time. She's like, I called him and I left him. And I'm like, I know, but you got to call him four times for them to know you're serious. So anyway, thank you, Jackie. Oh, there's Katie does the collage. Bob Backman does the voiceover. So thanks, everybody. Uh, Laurel Junction for sponsoring the show. Dan Gaffney played a tremendous role in even getting the radio station to allow such a thing as this to happen. So this is a weekly show. We've done it 400 times. It's called Weller Does Delmarva. And I have a good time, folks. We have advertisers on here. They pay to advertise so we can talk to people, you know, um, that don't pay like a nonprofit. So if you have a nonprofit you want to be on, I can help you in any way. That's what we're trying to do here. If you can help buy some advertising, that helps pay the bills. So with that said, let's talk about an advertiser. Our friend Josh McNeil, McNeil's Paving. Um, Josh has been supporting the show for a few years now. And if you have a driveway that, um, you know, it's been muddy, or you got potholes, and every time you, you hear your car creak or whatever, or it makes you spill your coffee, um, and you want to get a nice, flat, smooth driveway, he could come in and grade your driveway. He could put down, you know, brand new layer of blacktop. He could put stone, if you just want a stone driveway. If you want crushed concrete, or if you want blacktop millings, anything. If you already have a blacktop driveway and the grass is growing up through the cracks, and you want to get all those cracks sealed, and you want to get a new seal coat on it, he can do that. If you uh, have a driveway, like I got one where the roots are just literally growing up through the blacktop, it all is going to need to be dug up or took up somehow in a new driveway. I got a house in Greenwood. I want to get a new blacktop driveway done. So anyway, if you need a new driveway, if you got potholes, if you need help with your driveway, your parking lot, commercial, residential, you could be in Delaware, you can be in Maryland, you could be in Kenton, Sussex County, you could be in parts of Virginia. He will help you out. He's licensed. He's insured. He's a good man. His name is Josh McNeil. His number is 302-302-945-7131. McNeil's Paving. Okay? Give him a call. Tell him I sent you. Good man. Been in business over 60 years. I think he's the second generation, and his boys are the third generation. Okay? Now, what else is going on here today? Diane is the lady who's in charge of renting booths, not booths, not booths, booths, like a booth, like a store. If you want a store inside Laurel Junction anywhere, if you want to rent a table outside, there is people all over the place selling stuff, okay? So if you've been COVID cooped up and you've got a garage full of stuff or closets full of stuff and you want to get rid of your stuff for just 20 bucks, you can bring it here. She'll rent you four tables. For a day, Saturday or Sunday, four tables for 20 bucks, one day. And you can just get rid of your stuff and be done with it, okay? So anyway, if you own a business and you want to network and meet people, this is a great opportunity to do that. So what's the name of this place? It's called Laurel Junction. Laurel Junction. 
and it's a big facility. They have thousands and thousands of people come through here on a Saturday and Sunday. So what's Diane's number? Diane loves phone calls. Give her a call. It's 302-841-5864, 841-5864. And when you call her, encourage her to come on the show with me sometime, okay? She's a little nervous, all right? All right, what is next? I see Pastor Bob has arrived. We're going to talk to him. I think we got Colin Walls one more segment first. And uh, we've had a good time here today. No fights that broke out, have they? Okay, well, good. All right, just want to make sure. And uh, we're all having a good time. You guys having a good time? Okay, do you want to come on for a minute? No, okay, no, no, okay. Let's talk about dry zone real quick. People say, man, you like a dry zone. Let me tell you something. I want to say thank you, Bill, Team Dry Zone. They bought another trailer. So that's like a couple enclosed trailers just in the past few months. So Team Dry Zone, great company, all right? People say, why do you like them so much? Here's why. Number one, they sponsor the show, okay? <laughs> I like them because they're my friends. Bill and Heather Anderson own and operate Team Dry Zone. Why are they my friends? Because I do business with them. The business I've done with them has been business-like. What they said they're going to do, they did. When they said they were going to show up, they did. Their estimates were free. I love their warranties. If I were to sell my property, all the work I've had done, the warranty is transferable, so it adds value to my home. And so I've been very happy with Dry Zone, and you will be too. So what do, what do they do? They, they, first of all, they do electrical work. So if you need an electrician, they have a fully licensed electrical team there. Um, they also do crawl, crawl space encapsulation. If you have a basement that's leaking, they can help you with that. If you need the sump pump worked on or replaced or installed for the first time, they can help you with that. If you have concrete like a sidewalk or a concrete driveway or concrete in your garage or your basement and you got one corner that's dipped down and it's always holding water or it just annoys you, they can literally, literally raise concrete with their poly level system. All right? This is no joke, okay? You can drive a car on it when they're done. So it's called Dry Zone. You can learn a lot about them on the web. Team Dry Zone. Now, they're growing like crazy. So they always are looking for more people to join Team Dry Zone. They will train you. They will train you. And they will train you more. It's constant training there. They're always innovative. They're always getting new things, new ideas. So check them out on the web at dryzone.com. Like them on Facebook just for the heck of it. And call them on the phone at 302 684 Five zero three four fifty thirty four. One more big thing that's happening today. This is a today only offer in Lincoln City, Delaware. There is an auction, Wilson's auction. It is a huge Mother's Day weekend auction today. All kinds of stuff inside, outside. Starting at uh, ten o'clock this morning, it's going to go all day and into the evening. So if you are looking for something to do. If you are doing your Mother's Day shopping, you need to go to Wilson's Auction. There's going to be something for everybody. There's glassware, there's jewelry, there's appliances, there's tools, there's exercise equipment. There's all kinds of stuff at Wilson's Auction on Route 113 in Lincoln City, Delaware. Now, next Saturday, next Saturday, they have another off-site auction at Short All Building Supplies and Hardware over in Cordova, Maryland. They've just had one auction after another after another. It's been unbelievable the amount of stuff this company must have had. So anyway, if you're looking for some lumber and you want to buy it at auction, this is the place. If you're looking for brand new hardware store inventory, <coughs> hardware store inventory, all kinds of tools, nuts and bolts, signs, letters, a little bit of everything. It is next Saturday, May 15th starting at 10 a.m. off-site at Cordova, Maryland. And they have a preview, which is next Friday, the 14th, from 9 to 1. From 9 to 1, you can preview everything. Or next Saturday, from 8 in the morning until 10, you can get there early and preview everything. All kinds of stuff. Wilsonsauction.com. And Tuesday nights, they have the auto auction at 6. I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio. So um, if you would... Go over to TV Delmarva right now or Weller Does Delmarva on the Facebook, all right? So I'm going to be joined by Colin Walls. We're going to chit-chat a little bit. I'm going to take a drink of water real quick, and uh, you're going to have some dead air space for just a second. Pause for station ID. Oh, my gosh. Is that what I did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Station ID. Oh, I can't. W14DKD Dagsboro. All right. I got to turn that? it around so they can't see it. 
All right, what is going on here? Um, are we we're still talking no, about Walsh? Actually, we were going to switch to TV Delmarva. Yep. Oh, right, TV yep. Delmarva. TV Delmarva. So if you're looking to advertise yes, in sir. any way, you know, whether you want to uh, take weather. a half-hour block yep. to present your product or your products or your services, yep. uh, we, you can do that with TV Delmarva. We have time available oh, Saturdays right. and Sundays uh, yep. that you could actually make a 28-and-a-half-minute 20 right. spot, commercial right. Uh, infomercial. Or infomercial, whatever you want to call it, or just, you know, a demonstration. A teaching, coaching of what you seminar. Can do. Yeah. Um, you know. That is available at, on TV Del Marva. So we have uh, uh, Saturday mornings. Okay. We have Sunday mornings, Sunday okay. afternoons. We have Saturday you afternoons. Have it all. Yeah. So there are available slots if you want to get in here and, and do that. Uh, Great and the idea, rates though. are very affordable. I mean, we're talking starting at 50 bucks really? for a half hour show. So they would make their own thing with their iPad or whatever and just whatever, hand you yeah. a little jump drive right. or yeah. email you yep. a Dropbox. Yep, or there's something. a few guidelines you got to stay okay. within. You know, uh, there are FCC rules that we have oh, to follow because yeah. yep. we are a broadcast station. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, other than that, it's pretty easy. Just do it and get it done. And no real long commitments or anything. In other words, you know, they could do it right. four or five ten times. Ten years is all. Yep. Ten and years, ten years pay all. up front. Okay. Ten years pay up no, front. We'll get kidding. you a real good deal. That's but right. We'll Colin's get you a good two-year deal. You know, he's very flexible uh, businessman. So yes. when you talk to him, he's not like your typical advertising salesperson. In other words, you know, he's not just trying to sell an ad to make a living. You're uh, no. trying to sell an ad to help somebody prosper. We want to help them. And, uh, you know, we want you to get results from it. So, right. uh, you know, if it, if it works for you. Then and we you know, can't keep guarantee results. But if it doesn't work, you know, I, I understand. Right. You know, and, um, and advertising isn't always, did it work now? I have I, so many yeah. people have been on my show and said, I didn't get nothing out of it. And then I bump into them six months later. They're like, you would not believe how many people remembered seeing me. Yep. Yep. That's how it works. Mind, you're planting a seed in their mind. Well, I had, you had a lady on here uh, yes. probably a month and a half, sure. two months ago. Yes. And. And she was talking about um, organization, organization, you know, and if you're moving, help moving things right. and organizing and, and things. And well, not everybody needs it right now, but right. I had somebody text me, you know, a couple weeks ago and Who say, was that lady? What was that lady's phone number? Right. She had this thing. And so I gave it to her and, you know, yeah. I, I think she's dealing with them. So, yeah, I agree. yeah. So not everybody needs your services right away. Right. So sometimes it does take time, but you always want to be the first one they think of. And That's how do right. you do that? By always being on their mind. Right. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that, too. Do you? Okay. I, I do. <laughs> I spend so much money on advertising. Now, let's switch gears for a minute. Okay. Do you remember how all this came about? I want to ask you some questions. So how we started well, what? But let me get to my question. How okay. we started the show. Okay. Okay, so the show started, um, it started one hour. Right. What was that hour? Seven to eight? Yes, seven to eight. Yes. Okay. Yep. So it started at seven to eight. Mm -hmm. Then we were on radio only, correct? Uh, yeah, and we were streaming it. Streaming too. it. Yeah. Then when did it go to two hours, or did it go on TV first? Uh, it went. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. Time is up. I, <laughs> do you okay. remember? Is this a quiz? Well, I just no, I don't remember. Oh, you don't That's remember the thing. Okay. I can't remember how everything started. I remember yeah. when the radio station made the deal. They said you're going to get one hour and don't ask for no more because you're never going to get it. You're never going to get <laughs> right. it. Now we're at two hours and we're just chomping at the bit for the third. Yeah. But anyway, then somewhere we ended up on TV, and it um, it went to three hours. It went to three hours. Yeah. And I, and I remember I said <laughs> it was a crazy idea. I said. There's this Bob Backman guy. Right. Why don't we just get in touch with him and see? And we're like, uh, and, you know, we're talking. Right. We're How like, do you oh, talk this, to the president of a TV, TV station? TV guy, yeah, owns a TV station and uh, called him up. And he's like, yep, we'll meet. We met yeah. in your office and uh, with Bob Backman. And he said, we, <laughs> we hardly had it out of our mouths of what we want to do. And he was like, yes. And he didn't ask any questions. No. And he just said, yes. He didn't even quote any figures. We're like, well, wait a minute. We, need, we feel like we need to sell this to you a little enough. more. We didn't ask for enough. <laughs> You're right. Uh, but it's been good. And um, it's been on, on TV. Then that TV station got bought out. Right. And then about that time, you decided to start your own TV station. Yep. And that's why we're so adamant about encouraging people to buy some advertising on TV Del Marva. Because Colin has fronted all this money to get this thing up and running. He rents tower space. He's got yep. um, internet and fiber optics and yeah. tons of equipment. And he needs to get a return on his if investment. If anybody has ever bought all. a fiber optic connection, right? you know what I'm talking right. about. It's not $100 a month. That is so, not even close to $100 a month. So he it's does not a even lot. 10 times $100 a month. Right. It's more than that. It's more than that. So Colin is working hard 
behind the scenes to create a local TV mm -hmm. station. His passion is for it to be local, yep. to stay local, to not cave into the big companies, to be a local relevant TV station. So if you are a local business or church mm -hmm. or organization and you want to get involved in something that's going to grow, that's going to be here, and you want to help something, Colin needs some help getting this thing going. Not that he's not going to do it or going to go broke doing it. He just doesn't want to go broke doing it. That's all, you know. <laughs> for sure. But, I don't want that. Right. Don't want that. So anyway, um, thanks for all your help with the show. Oh, you're welcome. I absolutely could not have done this without Colin. I even like you being around. In other words, you give me, Most like, even in the helicopter that day, <laughs> I was like, I was glad he was in here with me. In other words, you know, so I appreciate your friendship, and I like well, you being around me, you know. In other words, um well, thank you. That was good. Well, what? it was. It's all been good, you know. I mean, it's, it's been. I mean, it was we, all the way on, before this. We were streaming we're going Dan Gaffney's show. Ten years of when yeah. we first started all this stuff. So, I mean, that's can that's kind of that? unbelievable. Yes, you probably no. can. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm, noticed this. The it might be time to change these out. They are getting uh, a little fuzzy, Jim. Oh, don't, uh, Kevin. That's not a purchase order. We need a sponsor, the Mike Filter sponsor. Yeah, we need a Mike a Filter sponsor. sponsor. All right, sponsor. we're coming back on the radio. All right, I'll see you if later. If you mention things, Kevin Short seems to think that's a purchase order. Like, like, okay, we got it. Kevin Short, Mid-South Audio. Been a great, great supporter of the show. So, Kevin, if you're listening and you're swimming in the pool, don't miss a stroke. But um, just want to let you know I appreciate your friendship. All right. What is going on? I think Pastor Bob Weed is going to be my next victim. I met guests guest i've known pastor bob a long time um what else is next wellers is open they tell me we're busy already i can't believe it and um what else is going on so chicken barbecue green wood chicken barbecue is off the hook i'm telling you it's really good the, it goes quick it sells out fast it's amazing oh he is here everybody okay pastor bob we did really show up we're gonna get our picture taken first this is for the new Lincoln Post Office. I got to be quiet. <laughs> All right. This is Pastor Bob Weed. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything else that I don't want to forget to say. I think I've done everything. I tried to hurry up so I would have plenty of time. I was specifically instructed to allow you to talk some. So I me mean, to talk. Well, you don't, pastor. You don't let pastors talk too much. Well, Once not we over the twenty microphone. minutes, because then don't you have to receive an offering? <laughs> then we have to receive if an a offering. Pastor talks. You more never than take minutes, an offering. You receive an you offering. You receive right, an offering. Right. I that's learned right. that. All right. So, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Congratulations on 400 shows. Remember when this thing started? That's amazing, isn't it? You remember we did it in the lobby of Eagles Nest I one remember. time. I remember. And um, it's been very interesting. It's been a ride, hasn't it? It has. It's it been has. a lot of yeah. fun. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And we've had thousands of people on we, <laughs> we take pictures and we look back we got about 150,000 but it's really interesting how many different people have been on it's quite over amazing the years. Think it about really it, is. It, it is you know six eight people every week yeah you know it's really been something have you added up how many hours that that 400 no, shows is no because some of these guys might want to get paid you know <laughs> they knew true. how many hours they were <laughs> devoting to it that's true so all right so eagles nest church pastor bob weed i got a real important question yes Okay, this is uh, something very big that we have in common now. How is it being a grandparent? I love it. You love it. I Good. absolutely love it. i got two grandchildren now. One's five and one's two. And they all live around here? They live around here. We get to see them. We do a lot of babysitting. Or my wife does a lot of babysitting. You're allowed to babysit. I get to play with them. So. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah, so it's fun. It's, well, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. A lot better than, even, even than I thought. I knew people said it's a wonderful thing. It's even better than they think. It's, it's more wonderful. It's more wonderful. More wonderful. All right. So uh, how's church going, Eagle's Nest? How you been through the COVID stuff? Church is going fine. I mean, we're like everybody else. When COVID first hit, we tried to figure out, you know, what does this look like? What's the mm -hmm. new normal? Uh, it, I tell you the thing that I think COVID has done. I mean, it's, it's been a bad thing. But the positive thing that is coming out of it is I think people are beginning to realize how important community really is. Yeah. That we need people. Last night, we went out to dinner at a local restaurant here. And because they've you know rescinded some of the, the restrictions it was pretty full and people were sitting at the tables and you could see their faces and it's amazing how refreshing how wonderful it is just to see people's faces see them laughing and eating and i think my hope is that as we come out of COVID and we get into a new normal that we don't go back to just being busy and you know being isolated from each other but we actually invest time in one another and in our communities and our families, because we've learned how important people really are. Right, 
the, yeah. And you know, it's kind of like anything. Once it's taken away from you, you really value it differently. You begin to appreciate it. Took it for granted it. all right. that time. Like our youth. Yeah. You yeah, know, our we youth. We didn't yeah. take it, we, you know, we, we didn't appreciate being young. And as you get older, you begin to realize, hey, you know, it yeah. goes by quick, as right. uh, our parents have told us. Yeah. Well, yeah. good. So um, other than that, when are services? Like, so what time is service? Well, we do a 930 service on Sunday morning. Okay. And we have we social distance. All the chairs are separated. The rows are separated by six feet. Okay. And we separate okay. people. You know, when people come in, they sit two chairs, which is three feet apart from okay. each other. Okay. And so we're continuing that even as things, you know, are winding down. We're still continuing that. But that's at 930. But we're also online. And our online service has really taken off. It's okay. Just, I mean, it's just blown right up in a good sense. Um, and so you can watch at any time. Okay. Oh, because it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. And so it really it's an on-demand type thing. Okay. And so people have been able to enjoy that. We're also dig doing something on Wednesday nights that we started when COVID hit with something and it's because we couldn't do a Wednesday night program. Okay. We started doing something called Digging Deeper. Okay. We're in our 57th show. You know, like I do really? moment number one, okay. moment two. And there's about a 10, 12-minute little teaching. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's concise. But it's on a topic, biblical topic or practical subject, you know, from the Bible. Okay. And so that has really done well in this COVID environment. But we right. have learned that shorter is a little bit better right. when it comes to teaching and services because mm -hmm. our attention spans are being stretched when you look at all the stuff that we're looking at right, right now. I agree. Yeah. So if, if you had to describe Eagle's Nest, let's just say somebody's listening or watching, never heard of Eagle's Nest or heard of it, never been. What kind of church is it? In other words, what, what, what's your target audience, I guess? Well, we, we seek to be authentic. Okay. And I would say the people that attend Eagle's Nest are very real people. Okay. We're, we, we, our, our, our vision statement is authentic biblical community. We want to be okay. authentic and real, and people really are. They, they're real. We want to live biblically, try to figure out what that means in the 21st century, because right. let's face it, you know, the, the Bible was written 2,000 years ago. Right. They lived a little different. Things, customs were different. So we're trying to live out our faith, you know, in the 21st century. Okay. And then we're trying to live in community. What does that mean? And as Mike was on a little earlier, and he talked about how people aren't as in, involved as much as they used to be. And that's right. actually a growing trend that's been growing since the 1950s, that okay. people are not as involved I mean, part of it's because we're more mobile, mm -hmm. you know, so we don't get as connected and because the more, we can't. Right. Mobile has made us less connected. It has. In other words, people are struggling to show emotion. They're, they're just used to texting it, in other words, you know. And mm -hmm. I think it's going to be harder for people to testify in a trial, you know, to, you know, to show their, their, their compassion. I, I think it's really took away a lot from our society. Well, take the mask, for instance. One of the things I don't like about the mask, I, you know, scientists can argue over whether it's good for us or not, and I think we had to do what we had to do. But when you look at the mask just from a way it depersonalizes people, Yes. when you can't see people's faces, when you're not in people's presence, something I learned even about myself years ago that, you know, when I get aggravated, we all get aggravated with people when we have experiences when we get cut off right. in traffic and things like that. What I learned when I was younger was that how much more considerate I am with people when I am with them versus yes, sending right. them a text or talking on the phone. And so I made it a, a real commitment in my own life that I wasn't going to address things by phone or by text. When I have to deal with an issue, I'm going to deal with a person in person right. because it does something when you're in the presence of a person. And I think COVID has a kind of exposed that for us. And one of the reasons why we're having some of the agitation in society is we've, we've gotten isolated from each other. Okay. Um, but I think we've also seen how important people are. Right. That we knew, do need each other. And I'm, my prayer is that we'll move in that direction even as we can get out in society more. Well, I think pe people are craving interaction with people. They really are. I have a little gift for you. Is Patty with you? Patty is not. She had to. Okay. To I'm going to give you both of them. I got one for you and well, one for Patty. Well, it's $8 you. each. I was going to buy your breakfast, but why don't you take Patty out to lunch or something? I will do that. Well, thank okay? you very much. You're welcome. And now these are gift cards to Vanderwinds. I know you're not an ice cream eating oh. type guy, but anyway. Uh, uh, I sure am. And I've, I've done my COVID 5 and 10, too, like oh, everybody okay. else. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but anyway, take that with you and tell her I said hi. Uh, I'm going to give you a mint just because I used to give out mints in church all the time. It was yes, a big you thing did. I did. Yes, you did. Uh, Mother's Day's tomorrow. You're Mother's aware of that. Yep. And um, what else is going on? Anything I need to know? Well, we're opening our children's department live for the first time since COVID Ooh, on the okay, 6th of June. Okay. We began the process of opening in December, but then, you know, that COVID went up and right. we felt that would be insensitive, that we needed, to be, we needed yeah. to be more careful. And we've not had any issues 
gathering together because we've done so much social distancing, wearing the mask, washing the hands, all that stuff. But, so we've not had any issues. In church, isn't there part of the church you don't have to wear your mask? And then another part where yes. people that would like to wear their mask? During the service. Get, right. But yeah. I meant, yeah. right. I'm, I'm just saying I thought that was very respectful. You're saying, I, I felt the church was saying, if it matters to you and you want to only be sitting near people with a mask, we have a special section just for that. Yes. And that was, if, that was actually it, a congregant's idea well, I, that we do that. I just am saying in life, and you couldn't get a business to do that or a movie theater to the church said, well, we're here. You, you know, we're going to go ahead and, and listen to that concern, you know, because to some people, they they have different views on what matters yep. and, you know, and so on. So that I, was the challenge, I think, for all businesses and leaders that, you know, trying to hear everybody and value everybody. Right. That's a big thing for us at Eagle's Nest is we want to value people. Mm -hmm. You know, people are important. They're so important. Jesus Christ died on the cross for them. It's true. So that means we should treat every person. I say, like, with a, put a 10 over everybody's head. Even when you're driving in traffic and a guy cuts you off, he's still a person or she's still a person that Christ died for. That's so true. they're valuable. And that's what we need in our society today is to value one another, right. hear each other, listen to each other, and take time for each other. And that, in this mobile, quick society, it's hard to do because it's against the current. Mm -hmm. But I would encourage people to do that. People are... And people are stressed out, so, you know, hurting people hurt people. Oh, yeah. So just be kind to them and bite your tongue, you know, mm -hmm. think twice before you right. answer. Wipe that kind a of little thing. bit of blood down. Yeah. yeah. So when, when we were doing that, when the COVID hit, we were trying to listen to everybody. What are their concerns? What are their fears? And, you know, of course, people that we n knew very well got sick. And so we, it's real. Mm -hmm. And so we tried to listen to the folks that were really, you know, fearful or in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. And we tried to listen to the folks that said, you know, they thought we were overreacting. Right. And that was right. the hard part because right. it's such a wide right. gap. And it's only one room. And it's only one room. So somebody came up with the idea, why don't you have a section where they I, have to keep the mask on the whole service? I was and proud of you. I thought that I mean, was a great idea. I wish I, I could mean, take credit for it, but if somebody else right, But I mean, you know, I thought it was... <laughs> It's, it, was, it was valuing what everybody had to say. I thought it was wonderful. But what's one of the greatest ways that you can communicate respect? We have three values that we seek to practice. Respect, responsibility, and relevance. But when it comes to respect, how do you communicate respect to people? You listen to them. Right. You know, we right. like to talk in our society, but really when you're trying to communicate respect, just spend some time listening to people. Mm -hmm. and hearing them, really hearing them. Right. And they will feel valued. Yep. And so sometimes, that's what we try to do with Sometimes you got to hear what they're not saying. Read you between the I mean? lines. Read between yeah. the lines, yeah. yeah. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to let you go if that's okay. That's okay. I am honored that you came. Well, I feel like I made some money this morning. There you go. Well, I want you to spend it, though. <laughs> Thank you. Don't do put it in your Don't 401k. Put it in the <laughs> right. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I want you to spend it, and I want you to go out to lunch in well, remembrance of me. I will let Patty know. Okay. And we appreciate it, and congratulations Thanks on a lot. 400 shows, and yeah, look man. forward to 400 more. Yep. I mean, it's when you get fun. to the next 400, you get to 800, are you going to go five hours a day? I don't know. We did three hours again recently, and I realized my bladder is not working as well as it used to, so uh, three hours was a strain on me. As we get so, older, certain things older, slow down. They you know, do. Some things speed up. Right, so, <laughs> yeah. The brain slows down, the bladder speeds up. I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks a lot well, for coming over, okay? It's great to see you. Okay? Congratulations. I'll see you, all right? Yep. Take care. Take care. Thank all right, you. thank you. Pastor Bob Weed, Eagle Nest, Eagles Nest Church, Milton, Delaware. Check him out. Check him out sometime. Check him out online, too, if you want. All right, Tracy. It's your chance to talk. Come have a seat with me real quick. Um, I'm going to talk about something very interesting. 847. Okay. All right. Real quick. Yes. What do you know about the Titanic? Oh, I actually went, this sweatshirt, right? right. I actually got it at the place where they actually went down in, in Ireland. Did you really? Yeah, I was in Ireland. And I actually Just went for to that? Get... To get the sweatshirt? No. But, okay, but I, so I, can't, you I couldn't were, go and not get this red shirt. Right, I agree. I also, I also went up to Belfast and saw where they actually built it. Did you really? Yeah. All right, well, my grandson Brody, I don't know the exact school project, but it was all about the Titanic. Yeah, my son really got involved in it when he was in school really? as well. Really? Yeah. And he's telling me this tidbit and this tidbit, mm -hmm. and I'm like, where are you getting all this stuff at? You know, but. Yeah, there's actually a, a traveling. Um, where they actually go to different museums and they actually have a traveling exhibit where you can actually... Like things they found yeah. that were mm -hmm. on there? Yeah. Really? Yep. Okay. Well, um, I want to say thanks a lot for your help with the show. Okay. And um, how do you think this morning has went? You have a lot of people. A lot of people come up. And yeah. I there was a miscommunication because actually I did not hear you tell people to come up and get cards, gift cards. And I actually 
forgot I said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't and I didn't hear it. So okay. I was like, um <laughs> What's he talking about? Yeah, and and they had I went up to him and talked to them and I was like, Okay, well I'm just gonna give them to him. Right. And then you're like, Oh yeah, I remember and I'm thinking right. oh, Well okay. I did remember <laughs> and I was thinking, gosh, I and that's and that's what I really wanted, you know. Was right. for people to stop they in, and they were and very, they were very huge fans. Well, so good. Did I make a bad happy. impression? No, no, no. They I were very not. appreciative. They okay. were very well, excited. Good. Yes. Good. All right. Yeah. Well, good. I just believe it or not, when I got these in, I, it hear. really it does make it harder to hear, and I am not good when my concentration gets broke. It's a mess. And sometimes when I'm running around, I don't, I don't catch everything you say. Right. Right. So. That's possible. Yeah. And then I think she ignores me sometimes. Yeah, maybe a little so. bit. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, maybe. <laughs> oh, my. So, anyway, tell me this. Uh, you never even heard of this show till we met and nope. so on. So, what do you think of it? Like, you know, <laughs> honestly, what do you think of this, this show, Weller Does Del Marva? Uh, it's entertaining sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. When it's not on? Uh, 9.30 is <laughs> the best time. Exactly. When we're not doing the third hour. Right, <laughs> right. That was a little strain on everybody, wasn't it? A little bit. Yeah. You know, just a little bit. But little it was bit. fun while it lasted. You know, yeah. we might do it again. And who knows? We might Never just know. be a marathon. We might have a marathon weekend here. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I'm, <laughs> Le- okay, get ready, Linda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get ready, She's Linda. Like, yeah, forget We're gonna it. really tie up your weekend. She's you like, know. you're done. <laughs> yeah. my commitment is now gone. Wow. My support is gone. <laughs> mm-hmm. I appreciate her making that cake and bringing it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but so. yeah, and there was a lot of. It was nice to see, and there's a lot of supporters, yeah. and it was very nice. Well, good. A lot of people. I felt bad. I didn't get him right, and then I felt like it might have got me uptight and. So I apologize, everybody, no, no, no. okay? He very appreciative. When my concentration gets broke, it messes me up. Like when a fly flies by, I'm in trouble. Whoops. All right. So <laughs> you got the shirt right at the, at the, at the place. I did, actually. Well, yeah. I saw it, and it just made me think about it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Is yep. that okay? No um, I guess uh, we're going to be done in a couple minutes, aren't we? Woo! Okay. <laughs> She's ready to roll. She's got a busy weekend. All right. And it's Mother's Day weekend, everybody. I want to remind you of that. I want to remind you that we're sitting inside Chef Fred's. I do need to do a shout out to the Georgetown Motor Vehicle. I dealt with a young man named Travis. Travis said, after a while, it took a while, he said, I recognize that voice. I said, well, then it's not like you saw my picture in the post office. And he said, you on TV or something? Tell me all about TV, Delmarva. Kind of made me feel good. I knew Colin was going to like this, you know what I mean? But anyway, Travis did a good job. Thank you, Travis. You made my experience at the DMV. The most amazing thing was when I handed him the credit card, I said, do you charge an extra fee? He said, nope, because I spent like $3,500 at the motor vehicle the other day. So anyway, Travis, thank you very much, and thanks for watching and listening to Weller Does Del Mar. But was that a real legitimate phone call? All right, caller, are you there? No. Are you there? Now, how would we describe that call? I want, here's what I'd love to happen right this minute. I need that auto warranty company to call us by mistake. (laughs) To tell me my warranty is about to expire or whatever. So anyway, folks, we've had a good time. I want to encourage you, if you did not see Colin and mine aerial acrobat show, Last Sunday, you could see it on TV Del Marva. You could see it on uh, James Weller's Facebook page. And I posted a lot of pictures last night uh, that have, you could see the, the, you know, at some spots there's 50, 60 police vehicles parked along the road. They're standing out in the road saluting as the hearse goes by. It was amazing. Fire trucks with the big things up on overpasses and uh so you can see all that on my facebook page you don't even have to be friends with me you can hate me and still look at all my stuff on facebook james j weller jr all right do we have time for that one i'm not sure caller are you there yeah this is the dubai insurance company calling for your uh, extended warranty on your vehicle i'm glad you called i've been waiting for this call <laughs> and are you in dubai or are you in milton Dubai. Hey, you know what does happen in Dubai that matches Delaware? What's that, buddy? Low number tags sell for millions in Dubai. Uh Uh-huh. Millions. So anyway, um, so, Emery, are you coming or not this morning? We got your your money waiting. I uh, I can't make it this morning. My sister's 
sister is a little under the weather. All right. Well, do you mind if we just conclude the show at nine and not wait for you any longer? That's it. Okay. But congratulations on on four hundred. Yep. And you ought to put a video together to highlight to some of your past shows. Hey, I'm going to get People Colin to do like that. that. Yeah, I'm going to get Colin to work on that in his spare time. All right. Well, anyway, Emery, have a good weekend, okay? You too, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Yes, sir. Take care, my friend. You too, Jim. Bye. Uh-huh. Bye. 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 Mother's Day is tomorrow. Just don't forget that, everybody. All right? I sent my mom a card. I hope it makes it on time. I went to the post office, and I opened the lid, and I couldn't open it. It was full. It was absolutely packed full of mail. And then I was told they only empty it once a week. Is that another phone call for real? Caller, are you there? Hey, how you doing? Hey, and who am I talking to? Snooky. Snooky Vent? Yep. Is this Pat Vent's husband? Yes, don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you today? Okay, I'm going to make it over with the grandkid playing ball. And there's something going on all the time. Ain't no doubt. Aren't you glad you got grandkids? Yes. That makes a bad yeah. day at work a good day. Right. And all right. I, I got, you know, the, your 400 flow today, and I got D400 on my uh, band. And you so, want to give it to me? No. So you want to get rid of D four hundred? Not right now. Okay. I want it, but I don't want to sell it. Hey, how about I swap you D thirty three thirty three? No. Okay. <laughs> Just trying. All you right. Today, Jim. Tell Pat Happy Mother's Day for me. Yeah. Thank you. Jim. See you, Snooky. Bye bye. Bye bye. There he goes. Did I miss anything? I hope I didn't. Um, if you ever want to be on the show, let me know. Uh, We'll do a background check. We'll uh, talk to your teachers and see what your grades were like and everything. Um, So did you find that funny, Chris? He did. (laughs) Um, What else? Was Terry Collins here? Where was she? She was here. Is she still here? She's talking to who? Oh, okay. We'll leave that alone. All right. Um, What else is going on? So, I was just kidding. Is she still talking to him? <laughs> Is she still talking to him? All right, we'll let that go. Terry Collins had her chance to be on the show. All right, what else is going on? So, Weller's is open. Um, I got ads for sale on my billboard. If anybody wants to buy an ad on the billboard. Um, we're having a good year. I appreciate each and everybody. People say, how are you getting these trailers? Like, am I doing anything wrong to get these trailers? I do need to tell you what I did when nobody else did it. Back in March... I got a lot of criticism for this, but I called every single, yeah, what? March of last year. year. Oh, you're right. March of last year. Right. I, um, I doubled everything I had on order everywhere and people connected to me said, that is foolish. This thing is going to be over. Trump was telling us it was going to be over. You know what I mean? The CDC, like this is going to pass, you know, and here we are. You know, we got another year or two of this nonsense. So anyway, I'm just letting you know, I'm just letting you know that we ordered double of everything. And guess what we just did in the past two weeks? We doubled everything we have on order again. Uh, Unimaginable amounts, because I think that we're going to be a much bigger trailer company when this is over. So in other words, we're hiring more people, we're growing. So I want to say thanks a lot to the consumers that have supported Weller's Utility Trailers. Uh, You don't really care what I did to get your trailer. You just care that when you need your trailer, I got your trailer, okay? And we do. So if you need a trailer, we've got them in stock. We'll take good care of you. Our prices are right. Our service is priceless. I've got a wonderful group group of people that help me run Weller's and do a good job. Lawrence, back at the radio station, thank you very much. Uh, The Saturday Spotlight is coming up. That is with the one and only... Dan Gaffney, one of the most famous people I know in radio, and um, he has been a blessing to me and our community. In other words, there's many businesses that advertise on this Delaware 105.9, which he pioneered and helped make this station happen. And I want to say thanks a lot to the management of Delaware 105.9. They they tolerate me. They sell me time. 
and they get me results. And that's what it's all about. You know, nobody wants to invest their time in anything that doesn't yield a return at some point. You know, uh, we all want to get a return. What's that called? It? Oh, return on investment, ROI. One minute left. So thank you, everybody. If you ever want to join us, let me know. My phone number is 302-542-9157. If it's long distance, make it toll-free for me. Just dial 1-302-542-9157. If you ever want to buy some time on the show, I'd love to talk to you. I hear the radio. It's ending. So we're ending on the radio. We are going to be on TV, Delmarva, for just a moment or two. And if you ever want to buy some advertising on TV Delmarva or have your own show, talk to Colin. It's 302-242-8015. Um, he'll hook you up with somebody and see if they can't make things work and help your business prosper, help your organization get known about. It's a good local TV station that's growing, and uh, we want to get behind it and support it. So are you saying hi? Are you high-fiving me or telling me five seconds? All right, folks, we're out of here. Happy Mother's Day, everybody, and we will see you next Saturday.